Okay. Good evening, Kaizo Iron Mod Bot viewers and friends of the stream. Happy Wednesday. I have already been live today for three and a half hours, but it was over on the tubes. And now I'm over here because I feel like uh, doing more. I feel like playing some Pokemon, and then I'm going to conk the heck out after the end of this stream. So I hope it's a fun stream. We're going to continue this stupid Drift Blim that's very dumb and stupid, but I like it. He's a little dude. He's a guy. He's a uh, stinky. So we'll see what he can do. Let's run some ads right at the beginning here. 42 seconds in. Let's go. All right, so late night attempts tonight. Happy Wednesday. I got a weather stream planned tomorrow, even after doing one today. And so there's a lot going on in the brain. I'm already really tired, but I don't want to go to bed at 11 p.m. because that will completely screw over uh, a lot of things that I have going on right now. So I need to make sure my sleep schedule is right uh, where I had it. Otherwise, I will lose control. In the meantime, I made a very, very good weather video today. It is the video I am the most proud of that I've done so far. It is not going to be the best performing video. I don't care about that, though. I really like it. It's my favorite one so far. Um, so uh, that's very good if you want to watch it. I like it. So if I like something that I did, I think that's pretty telling because normally I hate everything that I do. <laughs> so I'm like, oh man, I suck. I need to do this and this and this better. It's hard to be at peace with the mind of a perfectionist. But unfortunately, you know, I must battle it. Is Midas in it? No. No, he's not. But he was in the stream right at the end. He was in the YouTube stream today. So Midas was there. He made it in. Midas was not there in the video because I made that at 6 a.m. <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan today. We are going to continue this drift limb. There he is right there. A stinky drift limb with 10 pp of usable moves. Um, and then we're going to go right back to the god dang lab. It's, I, I hope we're going to lab today. We're going to labge. I really want to labge. I want to find some sick Pokemon because I've watched six different people get sick, s different sick Pokemon. And I'm like, where are my sick Pokemon? Because I feel like I need it. I want it. I desire the sick Pokemon. So, Dr. Pepper, today, let's freaking go. We're going to waste no time once the ads are done. I say hello to everybody. We're going to waste no time getting into some Pokemon. So, hopefully, you're all doing well. Unexpected stream this, Friday, uh, this Wednesday night. <laughs> I don't even know what day of the week it is. Maybe for some of you, so hopefully it is a pleasant surprise. Let them know. Friends, family, dogs, dogs, boyfriends. No ads for the first hour. Let's do it. Hmm. So hopefully you're all doing well. Join the VOD channel and so forth as I continue to, to develop that and make it a thing. I need to figure out the best way to, to advertise it without putting like VODs in my title. I don't really want to do that. I just want it to be a thing that happens over time. So I have it in the Nightbot timer. Um, I don't I don't think that's actually going to play here. It, it should do it every 30 minutes, right? Something like that. So 30 minutes on the hour. All right, now ads are done. Hopefully for everybody. March, congrats on the first. Hello, Thor. You almost got the, your first first there. Let's go. Hello, Topichu. Jeff. Am I done? B yes. Hello, Kyle. I am doing the silly. <clears throat> Ceiling, good to see you. Customer, hello, Matt. What's up, Ourobori? Happy Wednesday. You're excited. Wow. Okay. Hello, Ariel. You love getting there at negative 15 seconds into the stream? Yes. It's, uh, it's a tight competition here. You have to time travel. Hello, Antonius. Good to see you. <clears throat> yeah, I have been awake for a, lo a very long time. I slept for three hours, though, so that's why I'm here. <laughs> Hello, Moonbys. Hello, Hannah. <clears throat> Good to see you, Barlow. What's up, Jose? Hello, Tangelo. What's up, Nava? Congratulations. Oh, what I do? Oh, the video? Yeah, the video is really good. What's up, Big Mama? Hello, Ninko. Good to see you, Jeff. Welcome, John. And Kakarot. Uh, Lear, good to see you. And Blur. And Zolsk. Three entire hours. Yeah, so my last 30 hours of my life were as uh, follows. Okay. 
Last 30 hours of my life were as follows. I woke up at and got out of bed at like 5 p.m. yesterday. So 30 hours ago, central time. And then I and then I, I did nothing except like shower and stuff. And then I streamed yesterday for uh, four and a half hours, I think, or five hours, something like that. So from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. And then I made a video on YouTube from 3 a.m. to about 8 a.m. is when I finished recording. So I was script editing and then I recorded the video at 8 a.m. and finished it then. It was 55 minutes raw, which is really bad, but I had a lot to say. And then from 8 a.m. to noon, I was collaborating with the team to make sure that the video creation process was smooth, any questions I could answer. And then at noon, I slept from 12 to 1. I set a one-hour timer to take a one-hour nap, power nap. And then I, I woke up, and then I was like, this sucks. And then I went back to sleep until 3. And then I had to wake up for a meeting at 3. Um... And then, after that, it became evident that I should stream the weather that uh, right then and there. So I had to go through the process of letting the letting the people know that, yes, I am going to stream, so we need to make the thumbnail for the stream. I need to set it up. We need to check if there's a sponsor for the stream, which there wasn't because it was shorter. And uh, and then, yeah. And then set it, work with the chasers, make sure they're on the stream, then I'm talking to them. And then I finished streaming. And then I did community response on the video, so that I was responding to all the comments. There were a few donations in the comments, so I, had to, I thanked all of them and responded to some interesting questions. Then I looked through all of the notifications I had on Twitter. There were a ton of them. Then I checked all of Discord, and now I'm here. Oh, I also had some chicken chili, chili with chicken that Sand made. So I, I watched, uh, I, I hung out with him a little bit while he made dinner, and he stewed that up. It was very good. Okay, so that's what I did. That's the last 30 hours of my life. Three hours of sleep in 30 hours, and look at me now. Now I'm streaming again, because I'm an idiot. And I also have a stream of the weather tomorrow, because we'll have a significant tornado day possible. It never stops. The grind never stops. So let's get schmoove in here. I don't have a timer. Where is my timer? <laughs> that is the first time I've streamed without a timer in my entire life. Okay. Okay, all right, all right. Whoa, what the heck? There we go. There we go, I got the timer up. We're good to go. Now we can get schmoovin'. Oh no, I can't get schmoovin' because I don't know what the timer was on my run. Does anyone know that? I will find out very quickly. That is the wrong video. So yes, I am very tired. And I hope all of you have had just as fulfilling a day as I have. The timer was 40 minutes. 40 minutes and 10 seconds. Okay. Here we go. And guess what? Even through all of that, the thing I haven't done yet is check Reddit. I have not checked Reddit yet. And I, I think I have some stuff to go through on that site. So, yep. Even more stuff to go. But, let us continue this Driftblim run, because I don't care about Reddit right now. I'm sorry, Dust. Hopefully I'm not boring today. Maybe you'll supply the really interesting conversations, the subjects to talk about, and then I'll, I'll add a twist to it. So, hopefully not boring today. Hopefully really, actually, unmatched, exciting Labge content here, coming up soon. <laughs> Alright. We're good to go? Yes! No. We're almost good. Hold on. Nothing's breaking, I promise. I broke everything the stream two streams ago. And then it was fine. Nope. There we go. Okay. You know, dress rehearsal. Dress rehearsal for a concert, you'll be poor. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Dress rehearsal for a concert, you'll be performing at this weekend. That sounds dope. You had a core workout? Oh my god, I didn't tell you guys. That- I don't know why this reminded me. Core, esophagus, they're the same. You're gonna find out what I mean by that in just a second. Um, right at the end of the last- yesterday's Twitch stream, I- 
Okay, the first items of four store today. It's blessed. Um. Okay. Oh, and then the juice, dude. Cheers, man. Cheers to the juice. Holy crap. Wow, the juice, dude. <laughs> I had um. Good luck with your concert this weekend, by the way, Blur. That sounds dope. I had at the end of the last stream, dude. Jesus Christ, I can't even speak. Okay, there we go. Finally, something trash, so I could actually piece together a coherent thought. Anyways, at the end of the last stream, I, I, I was eating a quesadilla that Sand made, and I don't know what happened, but, like, right at the end of the stream, the last, like, 15 minutes, I, the quesadilla went down my, my throat, my esophagus, and, like, tore it the entire way down. I'm not even, like, I'm not exaggerating. The in, my entire from like right here, all the way down my chest was in a lot of pain. I I don't even know like it was a sharp thing. I, I chewed it really well. I mean like, what? <laughs> and it was it was so bad after the stream. I I don't know. I was I wasn't like totally freaking out, but I was not excited about it as you could imagine. Giga impact. That is not good. I was not excited about it. Um, I was pretty worried about it because when I was young, a wee lad, um, a friend that I had back then told me her horror story about how she scratched her throat or something with a chip and then it got infected and she had to have surgery to fix it. So that was a horror story. I did not want that to happen to me. So that always, that always is in the back of my head. I'm like, oh, please no. Please no. So uh, I was real. It would just kept getting worse and worse. Oh, it just kept getting worse and worse after the stream. I was like, every time I swallowed, it hurt. I'm dead. Wait, that was a crit, right? Oh, now it's a crit. Were they both crits? Okay, I didn't mean to manifest that, dude. Did we ever get a move? Poison powder, stomp, and power trick. We did not. This thing never got a single move except eruption and frenzy plant. Except unlearnable sketch. Alright, well, I'm glad that was really quick. Dude, I never got anything except piss. We would have got piss. Holy crap, there's no way. We just had to make it to Kanto to get piss. Okay, well, screw that. <laughs> we knew that was bad. It's a good spread. Driftboom's a good Pokemon. Not really, but, you know, the idea was there. So anyways, I, so anyways, and I, ooh. Uh, any, anyone know the lab attempts? Left. Thank you, Seelan. So yeah, that's uh that's what happened after last stream, and it stayed around for like three hours after I was done streaming, and then it just kind of slowly started going away. I didn't swallow any less. I didn't. I like I was still eating something. I it just kind of went away. <laughs> I it's 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 weird. Left. It's it's weird, but. I mean, I'm just thankful it didn't do anything really bad so far. I'm okay so far. So, yes. Uh, that's what happened to me. It was very strange. I, I've not ever had it. Like, I've scratched my throat before with whatever. But I've never had it go all the way down into my chest with the, like, through my esophagus. That was the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. Eat when, like, trying to eat food. <laughs> so I, I figured I would, uh talk about that. Content warning food. Esophagus. It's fitting that blue gives piss. Why? Explain yourself. Is it because he's piss? Thank you for the redemption to tone. I think that answer is me. What does a sharp quesadilla even mean, though? Is it a quesadilla made with sharp cheddar cheese? Okay, we got more juice. That's all blue would ever give to red? That sounds wrong. 
Ooh, a gamble. Okay, we're gonna set the stage for this. We're gonna set the stage for this. A gamble for Faceless Man. Thank you for getting 75,000 channel points. Alright, Faceless Man is going for Tails. If, if Faceless Man wins, Tier 3 gift sub and VIP for a month. If, if it's an L, uh, banned for one week. Okay. We got the, we got the Google here. Flip a coin. It landed on tails. Wow. Incredible. Winner! The victory music. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the Gamba! Here is a tier 3 gift sub. I hope. Yes. We still have to give one out to Rim, too, who also won the Gamba. And then I have to type this whole thing. Oh god. There we go. Congratulations on the Gamba. Enjoy the month of status and fame. Hope you're doing well, Faceless Man, besides that. <laughs> Rats on the win. Dude, that's gonna make like 15 people start redeeming that reward, and then I'm gonna spend like $5 billion on my stream. Everybody gets it right. Or maybe I'll just ban everybody. Game Boy Color music? That's dangerous. But I'm already in the battle, so you did that like the actual smartest way you possibly could. Which is waiting until I got in the battle. Because if you if you did it before the battle and I and I changed it then and then I died, it was over. But then if I win the battle, I change it. And then if I go to the next run, I also change it. So you did it the best possible time. Wow. Incredible work. You are smart. Dang. Alright, I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get to everybody saying hi. So, sorry, I was giving my life sob story for a second there. I was giving my life sob story for a second while well, I talked about my- my slashed esophagus. <laughs> that thankfully did not result in anything. And given I've recorded a video for 50 minutes and then streamed for three and a half hours and now I'm doing this, I think my esophagus is okay, guys. Let's go. My esophagus is all good. <laughs> exactly, C1. Yeah, and then you lose your mod, uh... Your OG mod date. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed my, my sob story there. The death. And then instantly death. I did not sleep between the YouTube stream and now. Yes, Ryan and uh, Ryan will be live tomorrow. Boo, 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 doo, boo, boo, <clears throat> boo. Four straight, hope you're doing well. Feels nice to relax in bed. Very good. Bellum, good to see you. Big Mama, good to see you. Anyone else I might have missed? Dust, Katra. Woo! Trash Dove, good to see you. <laughs> Full restore and do immediate death. That's what I do. Don't worry, it got no moves. It got no moves. <clears throat> Zap, hope you're doing well. Good to see you, my titties. All the slug cats. Dude, it's okay. I'm eating more than just a quesadilla. We made a whole ass freaking stew today. Freaking uh, chicken chili. Why am I awake? Because I have energy, Jared. That is why. Tone, hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think we'll be. I think we're both gonna be live for tomorrow. I'm still debating on it. Still debating on it, but I'm 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 not sure really. I don't know what to do tomorrow. I probably should be there. Yeah, tortilla crease bakes in fully. I think it was that, but really, like, I thought I was chewing it real well. Whatever. Customer, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Poggers. What's up, Georgia? Hope you're doing well. 
slashed esophagus. Good to see you, Ninko, as well. Okay, dude. 11. Oh, I'm dead now if I get hit again. Well, that's not good enough to run it, so no. Two, damn. <laughs> oh, Midas moment. I might take the Ambipom. Yeah, weather and Pokemon in one day. It's a metal band? Let's go. And g bads good to see you. A redemption train? I sure hope not. I don't know how many I want to get out of that. I, I should probably li limit the gamble to one per stream. It sounds like a good idea. Although if there's one every... I don't want to start spending $25 a day. I'm just going to discourage... I'm going to say it's a very risky thing that doesn't really... It doesn't give you too many things. It doesn't give you too much that's worth it, but it's fun, I guess. Or maybe just severe weather before there is no more severe weather ever again. Going for Mudkip on Omega Ruby. Good luck, Delio. So many people like to shiny hunt while watching Pokemon streams, which for some reason I feel like is, um, I, I don't know why, but it feels masochistic to me. <laughs> You're just watching someone gamble on luck while gambling on your own luck. Is that like a coping me mechanism? There are, there are a lot of people who do that, so. What's up, Ryan? Five per month, like, moments? I wish I could do that. So, like, like... Sceptile's okay, but it's not a winner. How are we alive? Yeah, if there's no weather, we wouldn't be alive, guys. It wouldn't rain, there would be no... There would be no water cycle completed without rain, and everything would die. So, yep, weather. What is my favorite Pokemon weather? I feel like it's changed a lot. There are unique weathers in each game. But, like, the basics, if you're talking about the basics in, in this game, my favorite weather is probably the Drizzle. Because I like Drizzle Thunder. Yeah, you got zero snow in the 2022-23 to 23 season. Imagine just having that trough over there now, but in December or January. <laughs> Too bad. Sucks to suck. And Drizzle Thunder is the silly. And I don't even know the last time I had it in this. Snoop Dogg. Remember that one year that Philadelphia got zero inches of snow? Oh, you're talking about this year? <laughs> now you got like 1.1 inch, if even that. I'm trying to get Ambipom at level 5, by the way. It's a 5% chance. Give me the- give me the monkey! Dang it! If only temporarily, it happens. It's how it is. I don't use VIP for anything else on this channel right now, so... That's how it be. I mean, I might- I might catch the Sceptile if I get tired of this piece of crap monkey, or it sucks. Uh, it could also just suck. Frosty Flanks, hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, so the first one was a crit. Dude, it has... It, nah. I have some defense. It has like 10 attack. I'm not about it. BK, Burger King and Old School RuneScape? Sounds like a nice night. Enjoy your Burger King. <laughs> Let's go, Lock and Wolf. Well, I hope your shiny adventures have been bountiful and plentiful. <clears throat> set up, move set with Poison Heal. Yeah. Am I going to play Tears of the Kingdom? No. I am personally not going to play it. But Sand will. 
I am interested in watching it, though. I don't really have any plans to play it, but I do want to watch it. I want to... I want to see it. I suppose. I don't know how I'm going to... I don't know how I'm going to consume content about it. I don't know what... what format I'm going to consume content about it in. But no, I love Zelda. I just don't really want... I just don't really feel like playing it. I already played very few games before getting into this, uh, getting into the weather biz. I already played very few games. I was, uh, I streamed the games that I play, really, and that was just about it, besides RuneScape. Just about it. I just don't play a lot of games, but I like to watch them, and I am a fan of Zelda. I think it's masterfully done. I just don't feel the desire to have to spend money and play every game when I can just get a good, fulfilling experience. Dude, where is my monkey? Holy crap, dude. Level 5 Ampapom, how hard is it? Yeah, a lot of people are not going to be able to use Twitch in a day, but I mean, if you need a safe haven, uh, I will be streaming one time before I disappear for two weeks. <laughs> so Tears of the Kingdom, unfortunately, or fortunately, comes out right at the right time for me to, you know, just not be on Twitch, but not stream. For people who have to avoid the internet or the platform or whatever. But I think a lot of people would actually seek out Iron Mon streams when Tears of the Kingdom is right in its infancy. Is there anyone who would do that? Or would most people just stay off the platform entirely? I don't know, can you just not use the internet for a freaking week while you wait or something? Yes, I am. That's why I said one time before I'm gone for two weeks. Dude, where is my level 5 thing? Oh my god, I got it. Good lord. It took me 8 billion years. And this thing probably sucks mad butt. Oh great, it's trash. Good job. I am so happy that I... Yep, I'm so happy with this information. Well guys, I got a mixed attacker monkey after spending 13 minutes on it. Ryan, they grew the raid. Um, oh, it's actually not bad. It's just, uh, you know, the, the, the nature is the nature, and we need sword stance. Cool. I like sword stance, guys. Any sword stance enthusiasts? We need sword stance. So yeah, I hope you had a good stream, Ryan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well. You can watch without chat most of the time. Oh, yeah, that's actually a sick point. Oh. Okay. It's gotta have just it's it's gotta have more than just that. It has 17 attack at, at five. It's gotta have more than just psycho cut. And it has to be at least a little faster than bad speed. I'm worried about its speed. I'm not sure, not sure if I run another Swords Dance Copium, or D-Dance Copium, or if I try to scout this Starmie through and through. Psycho Boost, yeah, right. Can Swords Dance save this? Oh yeah, absolutely, this is a really good mod with Swords Dance. Ugh. That's not the worst. But I would almost never use it. Yeah, you avoided them. But I, I feel like it's different with Tears of the Kingdom because it's literally like... Oh, okay. Ooh, I might be interested. I might be interested. Ooh, give me one more good physical move, man. One more. I can't hit Spiritomb right now. I might be interested in that. Kirby, all right, let's go, Georgia. I'm faster at six. Ugh. It's kind of not good. No, missed. <laughs> it's over. 
Dude, we had something going there. But it's over. I was going to take it. I was going to take it until it was slower at 6 and then its last move was missed. I would have liked a Psycho Cut Last Resort Mon. It probably still is viable, but it's probably too slow. I could have coped for it, yeah, but I think I'm... I think I'm better off looking for Sword Stance on this. Oh, well, that's not good. Yo, let's not do that, please. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, Pyro! And OP Zombie, good to see you guys. Super cock. Better than wish. You know exactly how you got here? Sounds like a 360 chrism moment. <laughs> or a raise fire moment. Ceiling cat, hope you're doing well. We have the dicks moveset. Dude, there's one up here too. We could have gotten the nature. <laughs> we could have found one with a bad nature, then pivoted again. That's actually incredible. That doesn't happen that often. Alright, I'm interested. You missed the background streams, yeah, for two weeks. It's my own fault for tolerating people. Really. That's one of my weak points. <laughs> I should tolerate nobody and ban everyone. It's one of my weak points. <laughs> yeah. People are cringe. Any cringers? Anyways, thank you, Ryan, if you're here. And you're able to join the stream, or you dedged right with the raid. I know it's happened before. Poke, good to see you. If I didn't say hi. You're playing Crystal right now, trying to get shinily, shinily, shiny iggly buff. Yo, Toxic is a terrible move. That's toxic of you. We have one more mod to look at. And then Shade Dog Ninko. I think I didn't say hello to you guys. And Ricard. <clears throat> you don't get payoffs once you start betting high enough? Really? That's so strange. I feel like you should. Or maybe you're doing it wrong. Oh. Okay. Faster. What the heck? That... Oh, I can't escape you. <laughs> Dude, that has no defense at all. Hmm. Weird. Anyways, and I HM friended it. Wait, would Runaway... Does Runaway work through block? Is it actually... I've never tried that before. That's so dumb. Anyways, this is my HM friend. It has flash! Oh my god. Magic guard with this. It's only move is night slash. Literally a mixed attacker, no defense. Mixed attacker, low defense, guys. It's a mauled. Mauled in Gyarados. It's so bad. Except it's also going to kill me in one hit. Mauled. Oh. So exclamation point gambling then, right, March? Its worst attack stat is better than my best attack stat. I know. <laughs> Welcome back, Savvy. You went into the men's room and looked through a hole in the stall wall and you're here. Ooh. Well, this is quite the glorious stream then. So what does it mean when you looked through it and then you were here? Like you got Did it suck you through the hole? <laughs> Sorry, that one was too easy. But also, like, did you just get teleported or some shit? Or are you, are you literally watching it? Oh dear. We have choices to make. Oh, we have choices to make.
30 damage. 18. Uh, monkey or monkey? Guys, monkey or monkey? What do you think? One of them has 52 more BST than the other one. Yes. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm... I'm stupid? This thing... The moment I pivot, Ambipom learns Sword Stance. If I don't pivot, Ambipom does not learn Sword Stance. Right, guys? Okay, I figured it out. Oh, it's so easy. That's all we had to know this whole time. Monkey is, uh, is, is the way. Crit. Well, it has, um... It has, like, 23 special attack at 8. It's savable, but it's not good. Let's see. Okay. It's better. Yeah, it escaped the ball, and that, and thus that... Dude, here's, here's the conspiracy theory of the day. Are you ready? If something escapes the ball at really low health, it has super high IVs. Because it's a stronger Pokemon, so it's able to escape the ball. Weak Pokemon, they get stuck in the ball. They don't have good IVs. Does anyone like my conspiracy theory? Oh shit, yeah, I gotta heal. Maybe I have weak balls? I have the strongest balls on Twitch. Nobody else has- how many people on Twitch have a Balls emote? I'm waiting. Yeah, but Deoxys can have good and bad IVs still. You've seen one other in the form of a tea bag, Like, two tea bags, or...? I know what you're talking about. I'm just making fun. Making fun. And remember, it does have Intimidate. So, it, its defense is trash. Oh! I see. Well, that was a good run. Sometimes it just does that. Hey, look, we could have been a loafer. Ooh, Stab Judgment. Stab extreme speed. No setup? Sorry, what? <laughs> well, you know, it kind of just uh, does this thing where it gets that. Hmm. <clears throat> yep. Uh, just a casual D Claw 221. Oh, 221 self destruct, by the way. That's why we died. Uh, Intimidate was, yeah. Starmie? Oh, yeah. Let's look at Starmie. Good call on the Starmie. I almost, for I almost for gore. That's definitely what I wanted to look at. What was that? 5 Arcanine chair would be comfy. Bro, sitting on his Arcanine? What the heck? I mean, I guess. Where, where did that come from? Arcanine chair would be comfy. Worst roommate? Okay. The worst roommate. <laughs> it's definitely this guy. He can't even fucking move! He's not gonna clean the dishes? He can't even move, that's the worst roommate ever. Can't even freaking move, dude. Well, I mean, probably distorting space 
the you know the fabric of space in your room is also not very good. And that guy's just an asshole. I think it's Cascoon. <laughs> He's also going to do nothing. Ooh, fair. Would this guy be worse than Cascoon? Palkia yells a lot. Yeah, it's not that pleasant. I mean, he doesn't really do anything. All you have to do is just clean up his shit when he actually molts. Or whatever. Does the thing where he emerges from the, the thing. It's a leaking everywhere? What? Destroying space in your room would clean it? Is waiting to argue with you? <laughs> you know what you're signing up for? You don't know how bad he could be? A teenage slob. Oh. Yeah, no, the Arcanine's a, it's a little too plushy to sit on it. It's not that comfortable. There's no back support either. I don't think so. Makes a molting mess. Leaves webs everywhere. Dude, it doesn't move. It doesn't move. Yes, Wormpool would leave that crap everywhere, but the Cas Cascoon doesn't move. Alright, it's ca- I, I, I... <laughs> Okay, we're Dialga against Palkia. We have the roar of time. It's time for this. Dude, it's time. We have roar of time. We're gonna- we're gonna take him out. First we fake him out, and then we take him out. <laughs> First we fake him out, then we take him out. These are the moves of, um, I don't know. <laughs> what Pokemon has these four moves? Oh no! No, I'm supposed to take him out! What the heck? Why, dude? What's that about? <laughs> uh, what's up, Fake Aid? What's up, Shaggy? Hello, Josie. You would room with the Nitto King? It's getting too steamy in here. Guys, it's 81 degrees Fahrenheit in here. It's 27 Celsius. Check Evo. It's a cascoon. It's just gonna be some dumb shit like a Butterfree. Most likely to become friends with Midas the Kitty. Oh, Easy. Holy shit, this thing is the Giga Chad mixed attacker with guillotine and stab earth power? What? Dude, this thing is all attack stats. How does a Fampy even have that much attack? Did I know? I may have Wind Waver. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's 81 degrees Fahrenheit in here. You know why? Because it's uh, May 10th, and we don't have central AC installed in our building yet. Because they don't know what they're doing. That's pretty cool, right? Yep, roasting. I It's so warm in here that even I feel warm. I can feel... I, f I feel warm. I live in Minnesota. I want to know what this had. Yep. <laughs> Midas' friend died really quickly. Yeah, the these adventurers, th this rescue team is not making it very far, unfortunately. One twenty six special attack Fampy. Casual. It ate it, dude. I don't. I don't know if I like that. What's up, Elwers? Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Adam, as well. Okay. Lives in North Dakota. There's there's lakes in North Dakota. There's Devil's Lake. Okay. This lives in Texas. It's an armadillo. Lives in Texas. And that lives in Tasmania. I think it's melodic. 
No. It's the Loch Ness Monster. Don't- there's nobody in North Dakota. Nobody knows this thing exists in the lakes in North Dakota. Devil's Lake it is- yeah, this- this doesn't live- this lives in- This- this lives in, uh, in Kenya. It lives in the African, uh, Saharas here. I don't think it's this. This is an armadillo. Alright. Where the frick do armadillos live? Armadillo... Habitat... Map. Ah! Ah! Chat. Armadillo map. Here's North Dakota up here. There ain't no sh there ain't no freaking armadillos, dude. They don't migrate for the winter. It's impossible. <laughs> uh, you have them in Arkansas. Well, what the hell is this if this is not an armadillo? It's just that it's a it's it's a thing. Potato bug? Oh, please no. They're in Arizona? Eh, yeah, probably. They're a Texas thing. And Arkansas? Yeah. Melodic does learn ice moves. Yeah, I, I really think it is Melodic this time. This time it makes sense. Which one would have a North Dakotan accent? A pill bug? It's an armadillo. Damn it! It is- it's definitely Melodic. The other two don't live up there, man. Alright, well, we die in one hit, but we sweep everything. Okay. This is, a uh, this is definitely a donut with Giga Chad powers. Did that show armadillos being in Ohio? I think it was, like, the shaded, or the half-shaded part to where they might go that far north. They may go that far north. <laughs> Agron is based on what? Is based on who? No, you can't use slack off. Shiggy, hope you're doing well. What's up, username? Thanks for the good luck. Oh my gosh. Stop. It builds its nest on mountains where iron ore is buried. Oh crap, now we have to look up where iron ore deposits are. Anyone want to do the research? <laughs> we can try to run this, I don't know. That's a little sussy though. I do like that. I do like Galley. There are there are mountains in North Dakota. We teaching somebody. I mean, there's like small mountains. They're like there's a there's hills and national parks with rugged mountains in them. Learn topography moment. It's particularly in western southwestern uh, North Dakota. Zarathustra. I never knew how to pronounce that. A metal-eating creature. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if that lives in North Dakota. <laughs> Does that live in North Dakota? We still haven't answered this. This might not kill. It's not over. Ba 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 da ba. Ugh. Crit mattered, dude. What is? What, what, oh, did I crit? <laughs> yes, crit mattered. I thought Chow was going off on one again. I was like, what? I didn't even do that. 
your balls. Yeah, North Dakota is known for its Korean mythological beasts. I agree with this statement. Like it or not, Melodic is actually lives in North Dakota Pokemon. I should have looked up the giraffe national habitat, though. Or natural habitat. Iron Mines are in Michigan and Minnesota. Oh, damn. Not too far away. So, I mean, he could be like a, a, a factory worker and he has to trans... He has to, uh... He has to, uh, transmute or commute... Commute to North Dakota. Manganese and uranium. Oh, they got uranium up here? <laughs> Stab, bounce. I want the Skarmory as an HM friend. Manganese. Did I mean transport? Transport, commute. No, I mean he can live in North Dakota and then commute to Minnesota for the iron ores. To build his nest. That's the thing. It's the daily commute. Alright, let's catch the damn thing. Oh, it's not gonna kill me, but also I can't even do anything. Okay, Lyron was based on a dinosaur. Agron was based on the, the Korean mythological beast. It was based on an actual dinosaur, but not one found in North Dakota. Okay. Okay, okay. You're off to the mines again to to build your nest in the local mountains. Oh, this is what I wanted as an HM friend. But I don't want to kill it. Oh god, it has setup. Oh, why does it always have setup, dude? Why does it always have, why does it always have setup? It's bad, I promise. HM friend. It's so bad. Watch how bad it is. Oh, you poor thing. It's Aldi! <laughs> it's Aldi. Well, I mean, that's about the best match we had, is it not? Uh, that thing is really bad, by the way. It is just extremely defensive. Counter! Okay, well, that's not good. When does Melodic lose counter? Why at level 25, streamer? That's when it loses counter. Remember that, chat, or I'm dead. Because I will use Needle Arm on Melodic, and if it counters me, I die. It shouldn't live, though, because it has no HP and no defense. So I think we're okay. I think we'll be fine. There are eels. Where is this coming from? Counter over slack off? It literally does not matter. I will never use either move. I don't care. <laughs> Guys, I'm never going to use counter. Is this the esophagus mon? Oh, there's the full circle. Congratulations, guys. We can wrap it up now. We, we've done it. We can wrap it up now. We made it full circle from esophagus to esophagus. No. <laughs> okay, maybe we have it. More to be found. Dude, I didn't check Route 46. It the the Empoleon is up there. I guarantee it. The Lucario is up there. He's up there. I know he is. Or did I look at it? I don't know if I did. I did not. I mean, this thing isn't bad. It's defense stats are higher than some things I've ran in the past, but... Um, also, Bellsprout Vanilla. What kind of, uh, rando? Peliosaur. Oh, so both things are being referred to as, uh... As freaking uh, dinosaurs here. All right, back to the drift limb run. Nope. 
just kidding, it's bad. <sighs> Who you call in court, Jester? <laughs> Esophagus Mon is in two runs. Oh, oh, you were actually talking about the redemption? Oh, I thought you were talking about the appearance of Melodic. I don't know what the hell I'm going on about. Yeah, the Esophagus Mon is in two redemptions. Sorry. I'm, I'm thinking too hard about the Esophagus. It was my fault for perpetuating that Melodic is the Loch Ness Monster. Do not take it as gospel. Hope you're doing well, Ryu King. What stays the uh, when you evolve a Pokemon, the things that stay the same are the nature and the moves. What changes is the stat spread and the ability. Get your mind out of the storm drain. And the EVs and IVs, yes. The EVs and IVs also stay the same through evolution, right? Or is... Yeah, that, that stays the same. So the IVs transfer over. And look, another one. Otherwise, when you evolve into a Mon, it's going to reflect just that Mon's stat spread for the entire run. It's always going to have the same stat spread throughout all iterations of said Pokemon. So if you evolve into it, you get that stat spread. And every other one of that same Pokemon will have that same stat spread. With variance due to IVs. And natures. No good pivots? I still haven't seen two Pokemon here. I still haven't even gone to Dark Cave. Oh my god, my glasses are messed up. Classic man streaming with headphones and glasses moment. Sorry, I'm nerging right now because I got to fix my glasses. We're doing well, Relu. I kind of like that emote. I, I don't know why, but I, I like the yellow emoji emote. That's like the nerge where he's like. <laughs> I, do, I, I don't know why I like that. I, th that one is funny for some reason, but I know it's oftentimes used when it's like when they're trying to be really offensive. But I, I think it's I think it's lighthearted and funny. Nerge. Oh no, my glasses. It's just a funny little dude. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, not that one, not that one, but like the animated one. And I know it's on 7 TV. It's that it's super popular. There's no way it's not on there. Okay, I'm going down to Route 46 because for some reason I skipped it. And then once I look at everything down there, we are going to come back up and fight the trainers and then die. Sound good? What's up, Jolly Gator? If I could have any held item for a run, what would I take? Leftovers. Too bad it makes the run not fun, though. I don't think I use Daddy. Dude, there's no fire stones, but we didn't look at Dark Cave. Leftovers are illegal. Dude, everybody would win if leftovers were legal. Everybody would win. We could win with this run, with leftovers. Unless we got one shot. It's doable. Winnable. How y'all doing here the first hour of the stream? Only a few more minutes to tell your family, friends, and your dogs, and your dog's boyfriends and their cousins that there are no pre-roll ads right now. The fact, next few minutes of the stream, no ads. You hate joy, the, the the crying or the laughing crying emoji. Yeah, I used to hate it a lot too, and then I became a normie. I don't use it that much though, not really. 
But yeah, that one is definitely used by... It's definitely allocated to a certain crowd, is it not? Yes, you can tell your dog's girlfriend, too. Your dog is single? No. Maybe you're just not a good enough wingman. Gentleman Oats the cat. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, while I'm fine with like the o with the default joy emoji, I don't like the rolling one where it's like where it's like tilted like this and I think it's the raffle equivalent. I don't like that one at all. That one, I don't know why that one just it bugs me. Joy Asteroid? What? I like the smile with a tear. That one is that one is one that I use. I use that one. Smiling slightly with tear. Or whatever it is. Keck W bugs you? There you're not alone on that. There are some people who have expressed the same thing to me. In my from my stream. They've told me that Keck W bothers them, and I'm like I'm sorry that you feel that way, but there is nothing that I can really do. It is a guy who is- I, I don't really actually know the background of that one guy. I don't know if he's a bad person, but I, as far as I know, he's just on an interview and he just keeps laughing hysterically and can't stop laughing. <laughs> Has anyone actually laughed so hard? That they legitimately got down on the floor to roll around to try to cope with the loss of air or oxygen from laughing so hard. The guy is not controversial at all. Let's go. He's a famous comedian. Yeah, I know. I know he uh, passed, unfortunately. Say, hope you're doing well. Thanks for the good luck. God, what? Oh, I forgot to look at the pivot. Dry skin and stab or. Uh, Holy crap, I just got wrecked by a Kakuna. Dude, I just got destroyed. That Kakuna won, like it's over. Like, I, I just lost to the Kakuna. I actually just lost. I've never thrown up from laughing too hard. I, I've gotten close, though, actually. No more? Usually, when I, whenever I ugly laugh, that's what we call it over here. You ugly laugh, you can't control yourself. I just, I, I just get, um, god, I don't even know. I get, like, lightheaded or something. I've never, oh, let's go. I've never thrown up, though. <laughs> Roll on the floor, and maybe for $726. The transformation, guys, you don't get to see this very often. Also, that thing is a Giga Chad. You don't get to see the happy chair very often, so take it in. Maybe mid-drink. <laughs> Never seen that happen. It's like the third time I've seen it. And of this many attempts, yeah, it's pretty rare. No, no, the thing before it had, uh, drought. The swallow had drought, I think. It was not the Cherim. A bread gloves sandwich? What? What's up, Leroy? I'm just... Chatting right now, just chatting. Ah. Uh. Oh, yay, let's go. Friend of the stream. Astonish! Oh no, we need shed coverage. We cover ice and rock with bullet punch. That gives me ice coverage. Double hit is my best neutral damage here. But it's also 90 axe, so it sucks. So I will take shed coverage, thank you. Even though Astonish is trash. Now we win though, because we hit shed. 
What's up, Licked? Uh, learn set? Sure. Go for it. Yeah, I saw the Jolteon. I was there when it got to Kanto. Because I was awake at ass shit o'clock. <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys ever wake up at that time of day? Or ever you ever stay up till that time of day? Oh, I forgot about grass types. Probably should have kept double hit. I am flying there. Okay. Four forty-five a.m. is my best time of day. Dude. It's when I thrive. Except now I'm gonna go to sleep at that time because I haven't slept for more than like six seconds in the last thirty hours. Bug Buzz, Spatial Rain, Seed Flare, Magma Storm. Gross. Nice crit. Oh, that's also bad. Astonish. Oh my, that did one damage. What? Dude, I have 47 special attack. That did one damage. Alright. Good job, dude. That what a, that was a weird fight. <laughs> Very strange fight. I don't think I've ever used Astonish to win this fight before. So shoutouts to that. Alright guys, Faulkner Pred. Here you go, one minute to Gamba. No, it's not even Iron Mon, it's, uh, it was the weather. I only spent four, five and a half hours, five hours playing Iron Mon in the last 30 hours. Now it's up to six because of this, this stream right here. And then, uh, <laughs> but the, the other, like, 20 hours were all dedicated to the weather. All the weather. It's the weather that ruins sleep, and every meteorologist knows that if they have to do what what are called mids, which is where you actually have to, you know, do the weather and forecast the weather through the midnight hour, whether you start at midnight and go through 8 a.m. or go through the night, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., something. Uh, four times level special attack, 1.5, but you have... Uh, you have Bug Buzz, Spatial Rain, Siege Flare, Magma Storm. And it has Rock Head and wants full tackle. Four times level? Yeah, I would. Oh. It's kind of. That's nah, messed up. So you need Magma Storm for Shed? No defenses at all, so you can't survive Shed? Because there's an argument to drop shed coverage for it. Is there anyone that inspired me? Uh, not like... I did not do meteorology because people inspired me. It was more just like the fact that things existed and were in place and then the power of nature. It wasn't really one person in particular, but like I have... I have people who I like and look up to, yes. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one, Lick. There's no way... I'd, I'd say you're in a situation where there's no way to tell whether one way or another would be better. But, your coverage on flying types is absolute trash. You only have 5 PP for it. I would probably take it over um, Seed Flare, but it's tough. Tough. You're only at level 38 or 28. Uh, don't even, don't even waste my time until you get higher up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh great, we have to do more of this shit. Yep, mudcock. Oh, the crit. What's up, light? 
Uh, I'm copiuming right now. Good luck on your E4 run on your next stream when you do that. Sounds like fun. Shouts to Poison Heal and also Fuck You. I want that ability on something that doesn't suck absolute trash ass. Astonish is carrying right now. I'm dead though. <laughs> it's been good, guys. Uh, happy about it. Chuffed about it. Dude, this thing could have had Drizzle. It's <laughs> Storm Drain and Drizzle. Thunderbolt. Come on, man. I was gonna get Thunderbolt next. Where's Thunder, though? Wow, Thunderbolt, j uh, Judgment, Signal Beam, and Bubble Beam. That's kind of cracked. In the in Drizzle, that would have been really good. But also, it's not good. Anyways, I died on the trainer again. I had it on Bennett, but it sucked trash ass. That was what I was talking about. L, dude. I didn't even make it to Faulkner again. That's like the second time that's happened recently. Sure, Gleefo, go for it. Happy to help Lick. Yeah, I, I, don't blame me when your run dies, though. You know, I'm very well aware of people trying to pin the blame on others. They're like, ooh, I'm gonna ask you for advice, and then when it goes wrong, I blame you. Yeah, that happens like 80 billion times in the weather world, where a storm chaser asks you, hey, what's your opinion? Where should you, where should I drive to to see storms? And if you get it wrong, I blame you. <laughs> Middle. Very nice, Nat. Let's go. They, they always do that shit to you, man. They always do that to you. Even if they don't say it out loud, they still think it. This bitch told me to go to this storm and then it died. And there's a tornado over there now. I should have been over there. Asshole! <laughs> Torturing myself based on what could have been. I look at the logs for like 20 seconds. I'm an experienced log viewer. I'm not torturing myself. Dude, the, the color change into steel to resist dragon? That's Giga Chad. Thank you, Boo Head. Hope you're doing well. You didn't do you didn't you didn't abuse it? Oh my god, you better abuse that for Elite Four. Are you are you absolutely out of your mind? Anyways, that's not even abuse. Literally just what you do. Oh my god, that would kill me. What you do is you just throw balls. It's catch and release, man. That's what I did the first time I had Poison Heal. It was the most fun I've ever had in a run. I did that 2,275 attempts ago. 2,275 attempts ago is the first time I had a Poison Heal run on a Jolteon. And it was the sickest run ever, and the fact that I just got Ramly crit on a wild right before the Elite Four was probably the most heartbreaking moment of my Kaizo career. And I didn't even know it at the time, because <laughs> that was like eight months ago. <laughs> what? That's... Oh, Light, you're an annoying me. And I got called the purist recently for wanting to do friend evos the right way. Come on now. Okay, let's see what Leafo is. This is platinum? Oh no, it's hard gold. I just... Oh, it's Move Relearner, that's why. Move Relearner, Bug Buzz, Aurora Beam, Dark Pulse, Water Pulse, so many things while you... special. And you have Thunder Punch. Uh... Well, that is a tough one. Um, if it was that bad... If it was that bad, then it depends on the types that wall you. Like if it's a if it's ghost types that wall you, then you want Thunder Punch for the ghost types, and you would drop Bug Buzz instead of no, you would drop Dark Pulse instead of Bug Buzz because you would lose Ghost special coverage, and but you don't need it because the ghosts are the problem. So it depends really on the Pokemon that are walling you, I think. More than anything. It's probably mixed, but... Alright, this is the mo This Pokemon is the most likely to destroy their esophagus with a sharp quesadilla. Which is something I might have done yesterday. But I'm okay now, don't worry. Bible? I'm not sure. 
You know, it's probably the bird, because birds just eat shit. They eat stuff. Sharp quesadilla. Yeah, I was eating a quesadilla at the end of my last stream, and I basically, like, I somehow irritated or cut my esophagus, like, all the way down toward my stomach. Bird, yeah. It, it, like, I was in pain all the way down. Like, it, it got stuck and carved me all the way down. It's ne That's never happened to me before. And then it hurt for, like, three hours, dude, so... I'm fine now. I really hope it doesn't get, like, infected or something. Anyways, headbutt! Yeah, bruh, what? I just... My, my boyfriend made me a quesadilla and it was really good. I chew thoroughly! It's not even like, I didn't even do anything wrong, I just ate the damn thing. That's never happened to me before. I was just eating. Yeah, it's definitely Delibird. Story never gets old? Yeah, we're on telling number two, and we're gonna be on the tenth recount by tonight. Quesadilla wanted violence, man. And now, now I'm, like, empathizing with my past self, and I can feel it. Ooh. Dude, that thing's giga-fast. Holy fuck, that's way too fast. 13 at 3, dude, what are you doing? Oh, you suck eggs. It's so fast. It's too fast, man. I need the minus speed nature. Rip headbutting? Hey, we can use it on the HM, friend. It's a utility. <laughs> it's an HM, guys, don't worry. It's an HM. You've not ever been assaulted by Mexican food? I mean, it's just... I, I don't know. When you, when you make... When you homemade... When you home make a quesadilla, and you pan fry it, and you have the creases on there, yeah, you can... And the creases get baked in, yeah. It can- it can be sharp. It's a, it was a freak accident. <laughs> I'm okay. I like how nobody's asking if I'm, like, okay. Like, yeah, I clarified it, but every- nobody is, like... Nobody even cares. <laughs> it's just... Uh... Oh, it's slow? Ew, I don't like that. Ugh, that's so much attack. Clinch it. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I can't. Alright, let's get seven flinches in a row. Two. Damn it. Alright, we'll try again. And hey, that's my move. Oh, the Empoleon sucked. Empoleon sucked, guys. Watch. It was bad, I promise. Watch this. Oh, it was really good. I hate everything. It's the saddest thing ever. I'm actually depressed. <clears throat> uh, my only moves were Earth Power and Ancient Power until I got Judgment at 39. Oh. And water spout. Stab water spout. That's fine. I'm okay, dude. Yep, it's fine. No, it's fine. It doesn't happen. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Serene grace, ancient power. It doesn't happen. So, so this didn't happen. Also, serene grace, sacred fire. Yeah, that didn't happen. Serene Grace, uh, Discharge, once I beat Blue, that doesn't happen. So this didn't happen. <clears throat> so that's good, this didn't happen, congratulations, guys. It didn't happen. Most likely to eat peanut butter directly out of the jar. How old am I? 25. No, it's okay. I get asked that, like, 70 times a day when I stream the weather, because everyone thinks I'm a kid. And that's okay. It didn't happen. 
Most likely to eat peanut butter out of the jar, directly. Yeah? I hate this thing. I mean, Stantler is like... Like, yeah, it's Poochie in it, but also Stantler goes for the peanut butter. You can't keep the deer away from the peanut butter. And also, Stantler, like, think about it. Carnivore, herbivore. Like, it goes for the nuts. It goes for the nuts. Poochie and also raccoon-like, yeah, I could see it. It's probably not okay for either of these things to eat fancy. Dog eats peanut butter? Don't you even... Welcome, Savagette. Pooch can't reach it. Stantler, yeah, Stantler's already had the peanut butter. It's colored, it, it has the peanut butter color. It's popular deer bait. Oh my god, we got him. Baited. It's deer bait. <laughs> no, it's deer bait. You actually leave it. I mean, I guess you have to get through the jar, but this guy would definitely try. You know he would. And he's a man, so he can't escape. Dude, it's got the Heart Gold Soul Silver moveset. Do you see this? HGSS moveset. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, how thematic. We got the Heart Gold Soul Silver moveset, and it's a freaking man's. It's Im it's actually emblematic, I would say, for this entire game and what we're dealing with. What's up, Waffle? See my name around a lot. Around what? These nuts. <laughs> that was probably bad. I'm sorry. Bad first impression chatting. Wowie balls. Dude, I'm a terrible streamer. No, it makes uh, fire do half half damage. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the good luck. I am curious, though, around uh, what in particular? Ah, Steven. Good old Steven. Yeah, I hope he's uh, coping okay with Harkold. I can't. I can't get out. I can't escape. Uh, guys, I did my best there. There was an argument for Wormadam. There actually was because Wormadam has like the, the, the suck mouth thing. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> oh, the proboscis. Isn't that, that what it's called, dude? I don't know how I thought about that. <laughs> the proboscis? Dude, I was so close. Come on, I, I I remembered it. That that should be worth it on its own. The what the one who brings its lunch in a plain brown paper bag with its name written on it in Sharpie. I, I don't know where it's bringing lunch, but yeah, this. Um Well, it can't write its name unless it uses its feet. Oh, it's definitely freaking slow king. Are you kidding me? This is literally, this is literally the, the answer to that. Fuck. <laughs> it's, it's slow king, though. It's definitely slow king. It's mom would write its name. Hmm. Brings its lunch in a plain brown paper bag with its name written on it in Sharpie. I don't know. Slow king. Thank you, Lick, for the raid. Did you die immediately after I gave you advice? Two don't have arms. Yeah, but, like, other people usually are writing the name. What's up, Gleefa? <clears throat> oh. Yeah, it's slow, King. Yeah, I think so. Kingdra does not bring its lunch in a brown paper bag. I hate seeing mons like this. They make me so mad. Uh, nope. I'm I'm not naming it. <laughs> I'm not naming it. Madge. Yeah, I mean Azuril makes sense, but this is literally the definition of uh, brings its own lunch because it's on a strict diet while it goes about its educational career. It just is slow king in this case, yeah. I 
Ah, you did clear Whitney. Well, uh, congratulations. Winter Sky, thank you for the four month resub, by the way. Much appreciated, friend. Welcome back. Enjoy those emotes. Wowie boy. Yeah, it, no, no, it's not just a. No, Azrael has, like, the whole decked out, uh, lunchbox. The whole decked out lunchbox. Slow King understands that education and educational career and time to studying is more important than, uh, you know, having a, having a decked out personality and so forth. Although, I mean, he's already got it. With the helmet and so forth. It's kind of a badass. I don't know. My emotes are one of your favorites? Well, then, thank you. I appreciate it. It's good to hear. I mean, I love those blue dogs, so yeah. The pants situation? <clears throat> I, I assume you're from Argentina, Glifa. Hope you're doing well over there. Good to hear. Mm, this is kind of stinky. Well, now I'm dead. <laughs> Gleefa, Gleefa, yeah. I, I don't even know why that didn't uh, that didn't appeal. Or like that just didn't fall in my brain at first. Sight. Holy shit, I'm winning. I am not attracted. Oh no, it's a slow start? No! It's slow start? I didn't even know. I wasn't even looking. So it was actually extremely good then. No, it was just ass. Okay, well that's fine too. <laughs> Okay, labging. Glypho is a heavy pesticide. What? <laughs> is this the origin of the of the name Glypho? What? We're not gonna have a talk about how Empoleon last run was able to learn every gym team. If you scroll through all of my moments, you will find a Glaceon that learned 15 out of 16 gym teams, which is a 1 out of 4,096 chance. You've been outed? Jeez. <laughs> Blazing, hope you're doing well. Alright, so most likely to uh, win a presidential election. Through DVS measures, sure. Dude, he's thick. He definitely wins. You win Would you vote for the ass cheeks? Like, yeah, you would. He's too young. Too young to run as president. For Alla Reagan? <laughs> oh, God. No, he's too young. He has to be 35. Remember? You would vote for the ass cheeks, man. This guy... Governor or Senate? Not senator? <laughs> Isn't it 32? I don't care, but maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's 35. For election. 32 to win it. <laughs> Thanks, Jeffrey, for the 169 bits. You can answer that question yourself. I think you know the answer. You want the ass? I think... Ian Mega doesn't win. Well, you know, at some point we are gonna stop getting these. Ass for America. Yeah, yeah, that is 35. Have a good one, Steelin. 
I mean, it, it's it's kind of arbitrary in general, so. We're back to the monkey. That's not... I don't think you're stupid for thinking it's 32 over 35. Because it literally does not matter because it's arbitrary past a certain point. So don't worry about that. You just can't you can't spell ass America without ass. Thick alligator will win. Unfortunately, he will not. For it seems the ass has fallen squishy as he has no defense at all. So he is but to squish. Squish gator. Well, I mean, you got it for now, but I don't think it's going to last very long. Exhibit A. Alright, we're going to try to live here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe Fancy Skunk, but who knows? Hope you're doing well, Vinla. Good luck, Blue and Chat. Wait, why does Chat need good luck? Like, for gambling? Why, why does chat need good luck? Uh, concerning. ED for alligator? I meant that the ass was jelly, not the, not the front side. We always need good luck? That's fun. And have fun? Okay. Is chat not having fun? <laughs> Be brutally honest with me right now. It does have no D. Yeah, you're right. What's up, Sudachi? What ideal stat spread look like? An ideal stat spread is when you have decent defenses. Decent defenses, runnable speed, and one attack stat that's really high, and the other attack stat is zero. That's what a good stat spread looks like. I started drawing it, and then I realized that you can't see when I'm drawing. But I'm so used to drawing everything now because of the weather. You have a headache, and that's why you're not doing alright? That is very fair and valid. I hope it goes away soon. We ball. No, balance is generally not good. We call that a man's. Man's. I'm sorry. I am very, uh, I'm very tired. We call that a freaking, um, uh, you know, the, the thing. The, the, the guy, the dude. The Steven. We call it the Steven. Even Steven. What's up, Poseidon? Celebrate? We always celebrate. Thank you, Orbori. <sighs> no, never. I assume that was to having fun. I appreciate the honesty. If you're not here to have fun, then why are you here? <laughs> to avoid the hardships and difficulties of life that are ever looming? Well, that's why I'm live, so let's do it together. <laughs> Also, all right, I'm going to need a temperature check in chat. What is the temperature inside of your room right now where you're watching this? Or if you're outside, what's the temperature outside? You can put in Fahrenheit or Celsius. I can convert on the fly. Temperature check. Thank you, Lick, for gifting the sub to Hey Hi. Appreciate that. Enjoy the emos, Hey Hi. 70, 68, I don't know, 74, 68, 74, 73, 71, 72. 22C inside, that's 71.6. 13C outside, that's 55.4. 22C in, 71, 73, 70-ish. 70 11? Are you outside in that? 
55 outside. 12C, 77. Okay, Curtis. 77. Feels like 21C there. That outside? Yeah, that's a nice day. A nice evening. A nice midnight. Actually, it's a horrible midnight. In Canada? It feels like 70 out at 1.40 a.m.? Really? Oh, inside? <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, are you in freaking Texas right now or something? That's ridiculous. I want this dust in In here, right now, it's, um, 82 Fahrenheit. Which is... 27 and a half Celsius. And no, that's not my choice. <laughs> If I were if I were comfortable, it would be 75, right about where uh, right about where Curtis is sitting at, because we have no AC. That's why. Oh, this thing was ass. We have no AC because they haven't installed it yet because they're dummies. And I, we need them to come in and install it. And while I am streaming, I get hot. Two pizzas in a row? Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for all for the temperature check. You don't have a thermostat inside? It happens, it happens. A little chilly in the morning. Oh, yeah, big warm blanket is very good. All right, so that was presidential election. Uh, yes. Yeah. So this is most likely to star in a hit Broadway in the hit Broadway musical Hamilton. I'm gonna need chat's help with this. Does it? Does this star in Hamilton? Does this star in Hamilton? Or does this? I don't know anything. I need. I need help. I need help. Melodic, 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 melodic. Abra, 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 Milo, Abra, melodic, a, a Schuyler sister. Okay, I, I'm, I'm hearing it. Could handle the lines would be chosen by the American directors. They had bowls back then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the cow. Alright, Melodic Star's in it, and it is the worst Pokemon I have ever seen in my entire life. You know, past a certain point, you have to wonder... If you can get the worst possible spreads ever known... Like, and you get them continuously. That's the same level of luck... Than... As... The same level as, of luck as getting the best possible spread. So, I think we're on the right track. Apparently this stars in, yeah, this is a Angelica. <laughs> I don't know anything, I'm sorry. I just don't remember, I shoved it all out of my brain. I know nothing. I shoved all that part out of my brain, I only made room for the weather. Two melodics one night. One of them was actually just decent, I guess, and the other one is complete garbage. Yeah, dude, my luck's out of this world! I'm actually getting so lucky, guys. It's incredible luck to get the worst possible Pokemon, like, five billion times in a row. So, yeah, my luck is on the moon right now. Fine dining and breathing and weather. I do do all three of those things, yes. Ironmon. Do you think this is in my brain? <laughs> Use a different seed generator? I'm alright where I am. The tracker is gonna give me even worse mons, I guarantee it. So I'd be even luckier. No, my my current method of seed generation has given me all the Giga Chads that we've seen so far. That Tangro, that was a run winner. The Empoleon PB, the Bronzong Encanter. The Charizard that should have been in Kanto, all of those were seed generated in the current method. That thing is huge attack, what the hell?
block. It was the bowl as the cor the horns to kill someone. Sounds good. If fire spin doesn't kill, I'm dead. And I think I'm dead anyways. No, I can win. Oh, let's go. Fire spin would not have killed. Am I not supposed to be sleeping? I can do what I want. I have plenty of time before we have to do anything tomorrow in terms of weather, streaming, and so forth. Screen tearing warning. I was going to go to sleep, but, you know, when you have Remnant Adrenaline and you still feel all right, and this would be the time when you could do something productive, and if you went to sleep and woke up at 5 a.m., you, you would be far less productive, then... Why not do it right now when you can still get a good night's sleep afterward? Checkmate, liberals. Explain. <clears throat> Anyways, good to see you, Ryan. What's up, NJ? Very good, Vinla. This is good, necessary information. I also had a very long day, Razor, and I've slept three hours of the last 32. And I'm having a great time playing Kaizo Ironmon on my... my Nintendo Corsair gaming, uh, monitor. Um, Nintendo, please consider me for the Ambassador Program. Thank you. Appreciate it. I am sweating. When's it supposed to pop tomorrow? In the afternoon to evening, like it always does. <laughs> yes, Ryan will be live. At the moment. What's up, Gorsel? My Asus. My Asus. Hamilton got shot. Whoa, spoilers. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. What? I've already seen- Oh, I want the Armando. That's why I'm here. Yep, it's Armando time. I think it's the common level 3. You live in Kansas? Yeah, if you're in Wichita, Great Bend, etc. Pay attention tomorrow. A day to be weather aware. Weather aware Okay, it's fast. It has some attack, which is unfortunate. It has no attack, which is better than that before. Please be good. Armando, please be good. Oh. Okay. How are the storms tonight? A little boring, but actually kind of good. I can't get a good Pokemon. Where is the good Pokemon? I feel like I'm gonna get a shiny before I get my next decent Pokemon. What is this garbage? Sisters by OKC. Weather aware tomorrow. Especially in the evening hours. What the heck? Evening hours tomorrow. You'll turn on... Turn off? You turn your PlayStation 5 off? Hmm, very good. The evening use? Oh, no, he is not chasing. <laughs> no, he is planning on streaming. As it stands, big time Ryan Balls stream coming up. Oh, my God, that's why you keep looking. Holy shit. Yes, we win. You have it, too. Holy crap, that did so much damage. I'm going to die. I'm dead. It's bad. Actually, that physical attack's bad. Oh, it's over. No. No. It's so bad, dude. It's not good enough. It's not good. It's so... Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, I give up, man. Should I do an ultimate run? No, I can't do this. It's not... It's hardly even runnable even with huge power, dude. This is so stupid. Stab Magnet Bomb, though. 
I I I have to uh, I have to pivot back. I have to pivot back. Yeah, it's not worth the it's not worth the ultimate run, guys. I would do it if it was worth it. It's not worth the ultimate run. So now we know that sucks really bad because it's also really thick. So that Pokemon is actually just a run ender. Um, because if I run into it, it has huge HP, good defenses, huge speed, and huge power. So I'm I'm dead. Simply put, I die. Which is kind of cool. I would like to be not on this run anymore. Depending on what's coming up. What's up, Firewolf? Hope you're doing well. Rossetti vibes. Uh, okay. 2753. Alright. Why can't we run the Bronzong? It has huge power. That is illegal on Pokemon with more than 425 BST. Otherwise, it would be broken. Because it doubles your attack stat. For free! There are measures in place to prevent the most broken of pieces of shit from just winning Iron Mon outright. Trust me, it's not that easy. Otherwise, we would run this Bronzong instantly. Dude, we would run this instantly. It has 22 attack at 6, 14 and 13 defense stats, huge speed, and huge HP. Am I doing the 425 BSD rule? Yeah, I just do it. It's self-set. I didn't even really pay attention to what other people said for the most part. And I have not even employed it a single time yet, so... Yes, and also, I've never even used it. Why can't we run the- why can't we run the- why can't we run the- How did the Melodic from earlier die? Uh, I got to Faulkner's gym, and then the second trainer had a Jolteon with Stab Zap Cannon. That just used it, and- and then I died. No Guard has- No Guard has, uh, five or six wins, yes. Hope you're doing well, Dalton. Hope you're doing well, everybody who did the temperature check, too. I know Kurt was in there. Giga Chad Gamer Kurt. <laughs> All the cool peeps today. Jellyfish, hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Lefties, dude. I mean, literally just. Like, low key, right? Like, guy, like, it's, it's. It's actually an ultimate run. We got. Oh, well, we can't use lefties in ultimate. Never mind. Just kidding, I I forgot. It's not an ultimate run. Leftovers are illegal. I was thinking about it though. Thinking. What's up downtown? <laughs> hey yeah, down nature on attack, that makes it unrunnable. I mean, yeah, it hurts with huge power. The the down nature is doubled. <laughs> it's true. All right, we have a few more uh, pivots to look at before we di before we die. Moldbreaker Survivor is not the worst. Will it be good? No. But will we pivot to it? Probably. We've seen one Empoleon today, and uh, nothing else that was any good. I think. That's not too bad. No, it's not. It's bad. 21 attack at, at 9 is no good. What's up, Red Ursa? Just kidding, it's trash. Check the Mantine. Yeah, I guess I will. Because it turns out the fourth Mon here is garbage as well. Saying true. We have Dark Cave left, and then it's uh, Sprout Tower. be okay. Up to 18 attack or so at 6. Maybe. 
It has Volt Absorb, it's good. Has anyone won with an Evo run? Um... Yes, I think so. I don't remember which ones are Evo runs, though. I can't remember. That would be a good stat to... That would be a good stat to keep track of, actually. Uh-oh. This is all really bad. Uh, I don't know what to do. We could do an Evo run. <laughs> Only six levels until Cyndaquil evolves. Zack is doing Kanto right now with an Evo run. Dude... Zack is just doing tournament seeds. He has no right to be in Kanto, like, two times during tournaments only. Doesn't even make any sense. I haven't been to Kanto in five months. What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> Where is this coming from? Alright, well that's a little better than the other one, so... Dude, I could have got to Kanto with a Magna Zone, so that's fair. No, a little better than the other one, he says. Oh my god, just take it away from me, it's so painful. A little better than the other one. Uh, uh, how is that possible? I just don't understand anymore. I, I can't run it, I'm going into Sprout Tower. I'm going into the tower. Besides, only real winners use the Silly Berries. If you don't use the Silly Berries, you aren't a real winner of Heart Gold Soul Silver Kaizo. I'm watching people just get full restores left and right, and I'm just like, Wow, well, who cares about this crap? Do it the hard way. Uh, has no special attack. Means it might be okay, actually. Well, I mean, it probably is okay, considering how I died there. The owl? My Noctowl PB is Bugsy. Oh, it's trash. If I had another nature, would I run? Tough. Not really. The Tauros? Guys, I can't even pick it. It doesn't star in the Broadway... Um, it doesn't star in the Broadway musical Hamilton. How can I pick the Tauros? <sighs> Bit of a man's. Most likely to be Mom, Part 7. Alright, so most Pokemon most likely to be Mon. Mom. When instances are out of your pool, but instances do something if you hold them in. An ultimate Iron Mon. <laughs> and survival. Alright, most likely to be Mom. Well, these are pretty cursed choices. Either you can have a Lava Snail Mom, or a... That Mom. Manaphy is the answer, yes, but do you want a skunk mom or a, a lava snail mom? What's up, Lane? How are the pocket monsters, Ionic? Uh, yep. Yep. I think it's skunk, yeah. It is fart mom, unfortunately. That's a good... It's a good spread for cross chop. And, uh, yep. It's okay. It's, uh, it's female. Let's go. Fart mom seems most legit. You were right. The Karen hairdo? I think it looks more like a punk rock dude. I didn't think I need to know that information, Venla. It makes it funnier? Yes, it does. The care do? I'm probably gonna get the hip-how done. 
I mean, this thing is like, this thing is actually okay. The good nature. But it doesn't, uh, it doesn't do it right now. It's okay right now, but it doesn't do it. If you gave me Swords Dance and Night Slash and Poison Jab on this thing, holy shit. We'd be rocking. But it's a little copium right now, so I don't think so. Otherwise, Skuntank is good, and this has some bulk to it, some decent bulk to it, even. Skuntank only has one weakness to ground, so it is a good Pokemon, which is why I'm thinking about it. But alas, uh, it will not be the one. You see a shiny? Nope. I am fighting the Manaphy. Sure to go swell. Sure to go swell. That's the move that I am supposed to have. That's fine, I guess. Whoa! Not stab cross or a uh, hydro pump. Let's go. That's still gonna kill me though. Yep. Thank you for the hydrate. Uh, what? That was attempt 2571. I think I opened the wrong seed on that Tauros. But I don't care. I, 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 I froze it. It's over. Oh. Okay, we're good. Attempt 2570. Wait, no, I, I looked at the right one. I just didn't press the, the next attempt counter there. Alright, so the next one is most likely to be a Storm Chaser. So, Electric-type Mons, be on the lookout. Storm Chaser! War Turtle! That's a good Storm Chaser, actually. Dude's got the windy tail. This guy's a Storm Chaser. It's gonna be hard to beat that. This guy's the nerd that looks at radar behind the scenes. And this controls the weather. So, yeah, nice Storm Chaser, War Turtle. Cool. Easy redemption, dude. Easy, easy redemption. One of the best mods. Super easy to pick. Do you lick? Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Whenever I see Skun Tank, I just... I don't think. I just choose to stop thinking. It's a good, it's a good practice. You should try it sometime. Like, this thing with pure power would be absolutely dope. Dude, this thing with pure power would slap. We would hella do an Evo run. And then I'd lose the run once it evolves. Which is cool. But, like, that would, this would be sick, dude. Give me freaking pure power on this. Ugh. Think of the redemption, Gorsal. Yeah, Shade Dog. The female Hapowdon is the, is the darker one. Male has the, the lighter ochre color to it. Cockaberry. I don't know what that means, Turkles, but it sounds um, like an experience. These are good redemptions. Oh my god, it's like getting hotter in here, even though it's getting colder outside. It's like, it feels like it's a solid... It feels like I'm outside in the sun. And it's like 85. Very warm in here. And that I and they haven't even given us an, they haven't even given us a date for the AC installation yet, and it gets warmer tomorrow than it was today. So um I think I'm dead, guys. I think this is it for me. I think it's over after this. Yo, that's perfect. Now high jump kick never misses. Oh. I can't flop. What? I can't jump up and kick because of gravity? 
I got outplayed. I got outplayed. Wow, dude. I got outplayed. <laughs> okay. I've never seen that before. I would have I would have not lived anyways because I wouldn't have uh, went, I wouldn't have killed it from there. Yeah, you can't jump when the gravity is intensified, apparently. I mean it makes sense you can't fly, but you can't even jump a little bit, you can't even do a little hop and kick. Jeez. That's Cali. I jump kick. Yeah, bounce, you can't use bounce. Objectively ugliest of the three Pokemon. If they're all equally cute, pick left. If they're all equally ugly, pick right. If all three are illegal, celebrate. Kinda ugly. Kinda ugly. I don't think this is cute. It's this is definitely not the ugliest. Shellos is cute. Uh what? It's probably Raticate is the ugliest, yeah. Here you go. Objectively ugliest Pokemon. Because ugliness is definitely an objective measure. Yep. Yep, objectivity. Holy crap, it's hot. This is the warmest I've ever been while streaming. Shards Berry. We're gonna get a run, I promise. It's gonna happen. I'm ready. It's definitely interesting to be uh, only awake on fumes right now. Because I, if, if I were to close my eyes right now for more than a minute, I would actually go to sleep. So I'm at that level, but I'm very, I'm barely, like, I'm, I'm right above the threshold where I'm just staying awake and staring, staying coherent. And then combine that with the fact that it's 80 quadrillion degrees in here. It makes for a very interesting experience. It's a, it's a test of my limits. A test of my limits for sure. I want to go to sleep because I've been streaming for two hours. This is a fun stream, and I want to be here. I only go to sleep when I absolutely... When it's perfectly... You know, when I'm feeling perfectly able to do so. So you too, Thor. In the same state, too. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we just don't have any AC. Your switch is what... Why? Your switch is what heats your room up? Oh my god. Exclamation point whiteboard. Don't start doing this. Don't start doing this webcam. It's not time for whiteboard mode. It's not time. It's not time for this. It's not time for this. I didn't do anything to start this up. I didn't do anything. I've seen all three mods. I'm wasting my time. There's Drifloo and Finneon and the other shit. I didn't change anything. Oh my god. Dude, it's not like it's overheating. <laughs> it's not... I did nothing. Now it's just... Acting up again. Testing my limits? Yeah. Seriously. We whiteboarding today? It just started, so now I'm blaming you. Since you just got here. <laughs> no, you've been here, Osin. You sabotaging the stream now and making it go into whiteboard mode? Dude, I, I don't have any pivot options. Has shed skin? 
Res shed skin? Bro. <laughs> That guy's cracked. Rest shed skin. Yeah, Lunatone is the is the Parish Song mod for sure. Oh great. I've made my I've made it worse for myself. Rest shed skin though, I couldn't help it. I had to catch it. Hmm. Alright. Oh my god, the fuck? <laughs> Chatting. Dude, what is that message? <laughs> it's just, what are you talking about? <laughs> Might send me over my fucking edge here, my freaking limit. <laughs> what? Oh god, Iron Man, why? <laughs> uh All right, yep. Confusion. <laughs> okay. Dude, I God. <laughs> the water spout in the eruption. Yep, moves. Alright. I am so warm. <laughs> okay. Most likely to mess up the weather forecast. Dude, this guy messes up the weather forecast when because he, when he's making it, he just magnetizes the computer and destroys the computer. I think it's Magneton. I mean, this guy, he's not really that great at weather forecasting. He's just a little dude, but he tries. He definitely messes it up, like, hardware-wise. Holy shit! Okay, finally. A good freaking Pokemon. Good night. Okay. Finally, something that at least looks good. And then we get solar power. Well, that's okay. When we evolve, it'll change. Solar power on a physical attacker is a huge meme, too. Weather doesn't matter when you're underground. Uh not sure about that one. <laughs> now I have to consider pivoting. Mm, Evo into No Guard? It's gonna happen. Hey, we saw Machamp! The first Pokemon we ran into in the seed is Machamp, and Machamp is a vanilla No Guard Mon. I think it's trying to tell me something. I think it's trying to tell me. What do you think? That's a message, right? That's like actually a message. A hidden message that we've deciphered. The first mom we run into is a no guard mon in vanilla. And we're running Fisher. Just get far enough underground. Yeah, that's fine. That's fair. Hi, Copia. I'm sorry, have you done this is many attempts of our <laughs> Hi Copium. I take anything I can get at this point. Yeah, maybe the maybe the message is that I get I get one hit KO'd. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's 
that's bad. You know that has a 55% accuracy, right? This is a high crit rate move, please. How much money did we get for that? get some money. I don't know how payday works, actually, how much more money you get per thing. <laughs> totally mattered? Hell yeah, it did. Good news for the future. 600? <gasps> Question mark? Uh, yep. Oh, I got 600. Worthy of a renaissance painting? I didn't even put that much effort into it. Sometimes it's, uh, the lack of putting effort into it that really makes it stand out, I suppose. Do we look at, uh, Machamp? I almost carded- uh, uh, Oh my god. I almost called it No Guard. Do we look at No Guard? I think we probably do. Happening Rare. No, the, the, the dude said 27.53. Not 2573. Chatting. You have more than that move. You have more than that move. You have more than that move. Okay. No, well, it doesn't have special attack. Yep, 180 to go in that case. I only care about attacking moves anyways. Oh, there it is. Ugh. That was a crit. It probably has- it probably actually has okay special attack. No. It probably has like eight special attack, just kidding. I mean, it was level three, so the calculation is 19 damage, 225 power move, 450 power move at level three. So 19 over 45. Roughly four ninths of special defense, which means that it's roughly eight special attack. This could be a metagross. Oh, whoa, it's me. Ed, thank you for the 12 months, one year, and redemption. Can this really be it? What's the odds of it? Oh, wait, what? Is it just Evo? Why was there an why was there an X why was there an error? What did I do wrong?
<laughs> huh? I broke it. R? I, I broke it. It's a little moody. Try it again. No, it's Reva. Bruh. Hey, can you get your shit together? We want to look at the Metagross odds here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think... I don't want the Politoed, I think. I would be dead if it were good. I often abide by that statement. Ah, uh, this is bad. Just kidding. You're dead! Sorry, doggo. Where's the dog at, guys? Bell Tower. New Bark Town. Holy shit, Old Rod Pivot? Or is it in the trees? Or is it Surf? New Bark Town. It's there somewhere, dude. The dog is back home. We need we need headbutt. We need headbutt. We need headbutt. Oh no. It's faster than shit. Did that do one damage or two? Whoa, why did that do nothing? Oh shit. It's bad. But it but it's a normie, right? Why was it not very effective? Oh, it's uproar, because it's steel. Wait, I'm I am losing my brain cells right now. Maybe I should be well rested for Kaizo. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? Yes, dummy. I I literally thought it shouldn't be not very effective because it's a fire type Pokemon. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, every every move that a fire type Pokemon uses is a fire type move, of course. Where is it? One one percent. Wait, this thing is a Giga Chat. A am I wrong? This thing's incredible, right? Dude, it was doing 4 damage with a 25 power move against 22 special defense, and it outsped me? Am I not- am I- am I dumb? Isn't that, like, incredible? It, is it Tinted Lens? It's Tinted Lens, right? It has to be. Or some- or something. It's definitely Tended Lens. Is Fate? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's actually incredible. Yeah, it does learn to move at 8. Ah, uh, we could get the 6. That's not a big deal. It's, it has to be. It has to be Tended Lens. It's good. That's a good ability. There, there's no way it's not Tented Lens. Because it's doing 5 damage with a 20 power move against 22 special defense. That's like 50. That's like 50 special attack. 50! It's level 8, and it's outspeeding me. Nah. No, there's no way, right? It has to be. It has to be Tented Lens, and even with Tented Lens, it's actually incredible. We have to scout this. We have to get this right. We have to get this right. We, we need the right nature on this. Th this could be it. This could be it. This could be it. We need the right nature on this. It has no... I mean, its defense is actually... Like, it's okay. Like, I have 31 attack. That's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. 45 power move. Yeah, I know it did 5 on 8. I'm gonna look for 4 on 6. I Like, I'm just gonna look for that. 
I'm actually kind of scared though, because it outspeeds me at eight. <laughs> Dude, this this Flareon? I don't know, man. This is kind of weird. Ooh. Well, it doesn't lose flash cannon, so so far so good. Has to do three with uproar, I think. If it can do three with uproar, I'll take it. Or f or um, four with flash cannon. Dude, we need to get we need to get this right. This has to be done correctly. This this is a, a moment in which we have the ability to look at this thing fully and do this right. One of them was plus defense nature. This is good defense IV. Let's see. Four. Two? Okay, maybe maybe we won't get four. Maybe we won't get four. Maybe it has two abilities. So that one didn't have tinted lens. Maybe? I don't know. It might have two abilities. Would Taunt be a better scouting move? I kind of want to know its fourth move. Taunt isn't really going to help me with that, but no, it's not banned. Because I don't, I don't think it's a, an attacking move. Boba! I mean, it still has Flash Cannon and Uproar. Like, I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, that one did four. I wanted to do five. So, yeah, like, that's special defense down. So, I would have 14. Out of 14 or 15 special defense, and Uproar is doing five damage. Well, with not Tinted Lens, that's not actually that good. Or with Tinted Lens, that's not actually that good. Am I getting baited here? What? Or am I just having troubles understanding? Like, the range is huge or something. Because that was level 8. I think I'm having troubles understanding. Or maybe, or maybe that one wasn't Tinted Lens. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. This is weird. I'm worried I'm gonna crit this thing, too. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we don't care about this being level four, 6 or 8. Two abilities, it has to be that. But also, like, it would be it's so much different, though, and I feel like it's not different enough for two abilities. No, there it is. Fuck. And now we're in the danger zone. I'll take this one. I'll take it. It's done it's done five without the uh without the crit. Yeah, we'll take this one. That was the other possibility, in which Flash Cannon is only resisted one time instead of two times. And the other move is a normal type move. So the Magneton Evo was a Metagross, guys. 
and it was the most Giga Chad Metagross you've ever seen. I mean, what can you say but just get a Hyper Potion while you watch your run die in front of your face? It's nice. It's nice. No, it's fine. It's great. Oh, yeah, we could pivot back to the Magneton. <laughs> that sounds like a great I fucking idea. Yeah, we can go pivot back to Magneton. Yeah, guys, let's do that. What if, what if we did that, though? What if we pivoted back to Magneton and it was a Metagross Evo? I would probably shit myself. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> There's no way that happens, right? Aka? Alright, well, everything is resisted, so... Is it really worse than running this? Well, first I'm gonna pivot to the Machamp, and then if the Machamp sucks, we're we're gonna, we're gonna go back. <laughs> we're we're gonna go back, and that's okay. But I might start crying. <laughs> oh, that's that's okay. It's okay. Huh? <laughs> okay. That's fine. <sighs> okay. So 25 damage crit, divide by 2, 12. Psybean 65 power, times 2, 13. So, it's done about 1.9 times expected damage, 1.9 times special defense, is 27 special attack. Right about there. 27 special attack on the Magmar. Who does that? Who, who is that bad at the game? Like, who does that? I'm a Normian, you s- just die. Hey, you don't have to keep doing that, man. Oh my, I, I, I can't throw this run. It's too much of a meme. I can't throw it. It's over. It's not over. Dude, please get the bot. Oh my God, it's fine. We're good. What is that? Dude, come on. I'm dying. I can't physically understand how this is real anymore. Where is my thingy? Where is my magmarizer? <laughs> uh, okay, the moveset is absolutely cracked, man. And I just can't even do anything with it. I need the magmarizer. It's, a, it's in Dark Cave, right? The magmarizer's in Dark Cave. One hundred dollars. One hundred gifted subs if it's in here. Yeah, if you swap the attack and the defense on this thing, I actually I actually do crap myself. Magmarizer. Jabokadies. Um, well. I mean, we're gonna outspeed most everything. We could try to find a Magmarizer. Or we could go back to the Magneton. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Power swap. 
power swap setup. That would actually be Loki. Goaded. Dude, but the, the moves on this! We're gonna get a physical attacker if we use the Magmarizer. I can't wait. Alright, we're gonna... Somebody ch remind me to check that later on. It's gonna be a physical attacker... Arcanine or something. No, now is not the time for this. <laughs> In all of my agony right now, we don't need whiteboard mode on top of that. Stop. <laughs> we don't need that. Why, dude? You tried getting the Evo item? Can we go back to the Magneton with this little defense? Yeah, it's only level 5. We're okay. And plus, we're gonna run the ma the Machamp, which we only know it's special attack. It could be a physical attacker, so we could just die here. Especially because I can't hit this thing without killing it. Yeah, so this, uh, this Machamp is ass cheeks. Oh yeah, power swap on this is like, it would be low-key goaded. It's true. What's up, Seven? No, it'd actually be really good. I would love to have power swap on this. It would be really funny. I know it's bad, don't catch it. Well, I mean, something doing two damage leaves the attack stat as a huge range. So I don't know that it's bad. But also it's bad. You know what I mean, Gleefo? Like, it's just bad. But I don't know that it's actually bad. It's just bad. Makes sense? Chatting. I actually had way more special attack than I expected it to. This is a nasty plot, Mon. Nasty plot on this would be dope. Snow cloak for the final fight. I mean, yeah, nasty plot on this would fuck. We're so tanky. We're super tanky. No, it's not really a man's. But it's also like man's. <laughs> All right. So best I can do is tail glow. Oh yeah, there's also this thing. Oh my god, remember this? Stab water spout? That was so long ago. 26 minutes into this attempt. <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys. <laughs> what What's the nature we need? We need plus... We need plus attack. Minus speed or something. Alright. So this one does not have good special attack, which we know. We know that's true. Rapid spin, avalanche pin, missile, gravity charge, focus punch, teleport. Effect spore. Uh, sketch! <laughs> Um, bug buzz, yeah, that's good. Uh, what was the other thing? Magmar? Alright, physical attacking Magmar. Okay. <laughs> it's just, it just doesn't, it just doesn't happen. I'm glad I spent 28 minutes on that. None of it mattered in the end. None of it was even relevant or good at all. And I just love that. Alright. That was fun, guys. Um, 
That was a really good and very nice Kaizo Iron Mod attempt. <laughs> really happy with it. Anyways, this next one is keep it simple with right. Ugh. I think the fact that I'm, like, delirious with my lack of sleep has made that run a couple of times better. So all you have to do here is swap the special attack and special defense, and then D-Dance give me another move that actually matters, and bam. We get hit by Bug Buzz on uh, Koga in the Elite Four and die. There you go. Very cool. Low Punny, super fast. Special attack of about 9 or 10 or so. Ooh, I have solar power. Interesting. It's really trying to dunk on me, I think. Thanks. I'm glad you I'm glad you guys enjoyed that run. I actually want to see what that executor had. I see. Okay. When is the next favorite in the lab? I've had a couple of favorites recently. One Empoleon and one Arcanine in the lab. Actually, one Lucario, too. So we have had a decent number of favorites in, like, the last 200 attempts. Well, I guess three favorites out of 200 is not really that good, but, you know. Alright, most likely to abuse their Chow in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Nope. Yes. This is literally- this is literally Eggman. It's just Eggman. It's almost good, dude. Just swap the special attack and the defense. What are you doing? One of these times, just give me the damn stat spread, man. Ugh. All right. Eh, I don't know about copium runnable. <laughs> Recover and roost. Ice Fang, really good. Jump kick. I mean, the coverage is extreme, and then jump kick is way better than high jump kick. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Not sure about the copium though. Rapion is dope, and this is like a, this is an attempt at being really good. But um, yeah, countered by gravity. <laughs> I do want a good Drapion run. I haven't had one get past Bugsy. I'm pretty sure. No, no good Drapion runs. I'm pretty sure. Master Ball Pivot here. Might as well look at the options. Drapion killed my Spiritomb that should have got to Kanto. By doing Sword Stance and then Stab Sucker Punch on the next turn. On Koga. It was actually fucked up. <laughs> it was messed up, dude. Imagine getting Swords Dance into Stab Sucker Punch. It was a it was a tough one to swallow. I replayed it. Once I got past the Drapion, I won. <laughs> so, yep. Slow Lapras. Ooh, that probably would have killed me. Yo, you got trash moves. Oh, it's a speed tie? Hmm. Speed tie is good. Speed tie is good. Um...
Uh-huh. Next attacker. Damn. Mmm, dude, I want it to be good. Mixed attacker, though. Damn. What's the last mod here? I'm gonna keep trying. Dude, I think I think this could be a swords dance mon. Or a D dance mon, actually. It could be a really good D dance mon. Is that worth the copium? The this Drapion Man. Like the Drapion is just so close to being good. I would legit run this if you swap the special attack and defense. Like it literally just would be runnable. I don't know, maybe we run the Drapion anyways. Okay, let's try it. I mean, this is the kind of mon that actually does just die to Elite Four because it starts getting outsped all the time. But Elite Four has to have Earthquake or Earth Power, really, to do damage or magnitude. Like, it actually just has to have that. Bone Meringue. If it doesn't have that, it can't really do too much to me, just by default. I don't know. Neutral ability. This thing with magic guard? Hmm. <laughs> Starting to think about these runs really closely, though, because I'm starting to see some actually really decent stuff pop up. That's why I considered the Lapper so much. That mom with D-Dance would be really good, I think. It might be oriented just in the right way. Or it could be an even steep. Yep, Drapion only weak to ground. Really good Pokemon. Good omen for the rest of this run to immediately get Parish Songed. Dude, set up! Get set up! Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> you just can't do that, man. Alright, fine, whatever. Give me bulk up. Bulk up or de dance. Has to have four Pokemon zap. Timer. I don't know how that happened. Well, now it's a real run. We may pass rival. <laughs> now the timer begins. Yeah, if it uses Parish Song and then you kill it on that turn and it has four Mons, you can still win with every turn going perfectly. That's the maximum. So if, it, if the first mod of a gym leader uses it, yep, it's over. That's how a lot of really good runs I've seen die. To Giga Tanks with uh, Parish Song. They don't even have to outspeed you. They just tank because they have zero speed in all defenses. And then they just Parish Song you. And it's a GG. I've seen it many times. On my own runs, though, I have not died to Parish Song very often. It's it's not a rare occurrence for me. This is kind of spanking. Or it is kind of rare, yeah. This is kind of spanking the cheeks right now. 
Time to die. Just kidding. Thank you for the XP. Yeah, I really need bulk up or... I mean, even not even bulk up, like D-Dance on this? Would be better than Sharpen. If we could get that, that would be really sick. Well, it's shed coverage. Yeah, Hair Song Soundbite. It's it's a well-known nightmare inducer, or a very much uh, you're just playing and then you see it and you're like, damn. Or if you're like really into it, you react to it and you jump at it, for sure. But it, it hasn't gotten me that often. It hasn't gotten me that often in the past. I have not died to Parish Song very often. It's a bit, I've had a couple of close calls. The most close call is, I think, I think there is literally a command for it. It was on my Empoleon PB on a random Kanto trainer. I won with the perfect turns left. But I've never been... Ooh, wow. I've never been parasonged in the Elite Four on a run. I had a cr I had the the Crobat run, the really 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 good bat run that I had. Um, if I made it to Lance, I would have been outsped parasonged on Lance, but I di I died before Lance. We found out later that it was impossible. That'll be a run that's uh, uploaded to the VOD channel eventually. By the way, Green Shard's really good. PP Max Hyper Potion. Okay, yeah, we've got some stuff in this run. Some goodies. We get some defense EVs that could also dramatically change this for the better. Um, alright. Well, let's try the Scorp. The poor more. Like, the only Paris song run ender that I can even remember is, um... When I accidentally used a ground type move on a trainer in Radio Tower that has five mons. And the it, it was on an Ampharos. And the Ampharos had Levitate, and I knew it had Levitate. Like I, I had already known it had Levitate. But I, I used it because I didn't look at the notes. And then it, it immediately I mean it levitated and it immediately perish sung me on the five trainer mon is the lead. It was a good Blastoise too. That's what I remember. That's like my worst perish song. But it was because of my own error. And I, I honestly don't remember another Parish Song death. I just can't... I can't pick one out. There, there was... There have been a couple of instances where something like learned Parish Song. Like the rival's ace had Parish Song. And then we had to calculate what level it learned it at. And set up for it every... Every time we fought it, because it was really scary. Jump kick so far is being extremely garbage. I've missed two times. Who uses a physical doorbell? I don't know. What's up, Ollie? Yeah, other than Shed. Oh, like, there's the iron. Nice. Dude, that actually showing up right then? I forgot to turn the green shard in, holy shit. I hope that doesn't kill my run. <laughs> it was Reggie Rock, Thor. Yeah, that's the Parish Song clip that Bias in. What's up, Mulaney? Dude. Oh my god, man. What? <laughs> It's actually going to use a psychic type move on me. I have 59 attack. What the fart, dude? That thing is out of this world with defense. All right, new move. Hyper voice stamped.
yeah, it was it was a good mon, just with it, it had to have setup or it was impossible. Like it was good defensively, so that's why I run copium setup mon sometimes because that's my PB. My PB is literally copium setup. Massive XP on that thing. And technician, yeah. Might be better than overheat. Yeah, but overheat shed coverage for now. Like, I get it. My special attack is usable, but... I'd rather just have what I have right now for it. Freeze it. Oh my god! This should not happen, man. Dude, this shouldn't happen. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. I'm dead. There's no way. There's no point to potioning. I had to use my hyper potion there, which is just a piece of shit. Water absorb? Okay, we're gonna get beat up, Psychic Haze, Double Team, Worry Seed, Attack Order, right at the end. Our level 1 moves included Bone Club, Feather Dance, and Supersonic. And then Arm Thrust, instead of Jump, jump Kick. Unlearnable Aerial Ace, Unlearnable Sacred Fire. That sucks. That sucks. Hmm. I don't think it's a winner, but it... I mean, it actually was turning out pretty decent. Overall, I was actually kind of liking it just a little bit. Definitely liking it more than what I started with. Hmm. Of course, Rayquaza crit present, so I had to, uh, I had to use the Hyper Potion or die there, and I'd rather just die. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Lappers. Thank you. That was what I was wanting to look at. I there was something and I paused to think about it, but then I foregore. Uh, wrong seed. Wrong attempt here. Seventy-five. Rockhead. Wow. So yeah, it it actually. So yeah, it would have uh. It was a physical attacker. Rockhead. And no rockhead moves. <laughs> Meh. Yeah, I did the ugly. It was Raticate that was picked. Alright, most likely to be a tasty addition to a stew. Probably not tasty. Uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> It's poor Dunn's farce. Is it, is, it, is it Dunn's farce? Is this the tasty addition to the stew? I don't think the other two are that tasty. I don't know. Lombre is herb and spice. Leaf? It's an herb? We don't need the ant We don't need to think about that right now, Starving Goop. Leek berry? Okay, fine. It's a plant. The marbling. That's what I'm saying. You're not thinking about the fat content. Broth enhancer? It's a freaking rock. It's probably got dirt all over it. Guess you have to clean it first. You like the implications of that? Okay. Chatting. Chatting. We're certainly chatting tonight, is what I'll say. It's bones. Yes, I, I understand it's half ironic. Chatting. I need a I need a good chatting emote that isn't just the the emoji guy, or of course the Pepe frog. 
There needs to, there's a, there needs to be a really good chatting emote. That's something I'm missing. Okay. Chatting whiteboard mode. Let's not do that, man. Chat out? Yeah, like a chat out emote. Exactly. Wait, I'm not healing. Crap. Don't kill me. Wow. I just got gunked. Gunked! How you doing, Kindle? Yeah, how you guys doing here in the 2 a.m. Central hours? Everyone alright? In the night? Feeling good? Able to bench the most weight relative to body weight. Um, probably not. <laughs> Definitely not. He's thick. And the answer is this, although Registeel also is very... So it's Piplup. Piplup weighs like five pounds. It's gonna... It's hustling. Hustling to... Bench like five pounds here. It could do it. Wailmer doesn't weigh that much? What? But he's all blubber. He definitely can't bench it. I mean, he's round. Yeah, he's very, very unbenchable. Unbenchable. Uh, what happens when whiteboard mode is intentional? You zoom into a whiteboard and start drawing on the whiteboard. In order to do that with this webcam, you have to have the supplied sticker that indicates to the webcam that whiteboard mode is to be enabled. You put the stickers on the corners of the whiteboard, and then the webcam recognizes that. I am not using stickers anywhere, nor do I have a whiteboard anywhere in the scene. And I don't know why it goes into whiteboard mode. Because that's how it's supposed to work. And I don't really know what the algorithm in it is doing. So, yeah, whiteboard mode. Other than whiteboard mode, I... Other than whiteboard mode, I like this webcam. I have both hands on the controller. It is not speech activated. I can promise you that. Uh, like, literally, this is, the, this is the only thing it does wrong. It's stop. <laughs> ah, it's the only thing it messes up. I don't know why it does it so much. Oh my god. And like sometimes it just never has an issue. But sometimes it'll just do it over and over and over again. That's my board mode for you. I got this camera a couple of months ago. I uh, did not pay for it. It's for my job. So that I have a more professional... Um... I have a more professional display instead of a 720p webcam. It is for my job. And I love everything about it. It's great. It makes the stream even better, too. But, you know, it is just, um... It just does it. It just goes into whiteboard mode. There isn't an audio thing on it. Like, if I say... Whiteboard mode. Like, it doesn't do it. It's not an audio thing. Whiteboard mode. It's not... <laughs> it's not the audio. Like, it's not me saying it that does it. Yeah, the plush collection is great. What's up, Trivel? I, I don't know. It's a great meme, I guess. It is annoying, though. Because I... At least I have the freaking controller so that I can fix it immediately. Telepathy? Evo run? No! Why does everybody want this to be an Evo run? I have three physical attacks with the minus attack nature. The minus attack nature will carry over through the Evo run. The Evo run is going to be only about 420 BST. 
It's gonna be trash. No evil run. No. No. Also, Hustle is fantastic for sp for uh, scouting here. Because it causes the uh, Pokemon that you're fighting to be max level in the wild that it can be 50% um, of the time. So it makes everything way easier instead of farming for the level 5 on that route for like 10 minutes like we always do. Pretty cool. We've only seen two things on this route. You watched a couple YouTube videos lately? Oh, are you talking about the weather stuff? Yeah. That's the good stuff. Wow, that has literally zero special attack. I appreciate that, Sith. Yeah, I'm really happy with the latest weather YouTube video. Very happy with that one. It's my favorite one by far. Least, the least stressful one to make, the most fun I've had making it, the most um, satisfied I have felt with like the content. Like it's really good stuff in there, pointing out good stuff, some niche scientific things that set me apart from other creators and explaining them. I like that a lot. That's how I'm setting myself aside, or apart from the rest, not aside, in the spotlight. It has a lot of HP. F. <laughs> Alright, the dog sucks. Rip. But I'm glad you liked him though, Sith. Much appreciated. I never thought I would be... Dude, I never thought I'd be so into... YouTube, or doing so much stuff on YouTube, because before my job was created, essentially, via YouTube, I really didn't use YouTube hardly much at all, for anything. I just didn't really watch much on YouTube. I very rarely did. I've had YouTube Premium forever, but I don't pay for it because it's through a family member, which is dope. And I would never use YouTube if I didn't have premium. It would be absolutely unwatchable. I would never use it without premium. Check the Sea King. Uh, Evo run? <laughs> we could get a Sea King off the Evo. Uh, no. It's a 460 mon. Like, I just... I don't really... I don't really want to... Don't really have an interest in a 460 mon. When this is sitting right over here. Oh yes, let's go. That's special attack, boys. Let's do it. Alright, come on, gimme give gimme give a 28. 28 special attack. Oh, horror sphere. This is a decent mon. Yeah, this is really good. The special attack overall is low. Like, on the lower end, it's barely gonna be good enough, but we're starting with Aura Sphere. We have Shed coverage. Let's do it. Let's do it! Let's do it. ASAP. Yeah, it's, it's got really good HP, actually. Like, actually really good HP, good defenses, perfect speed, and the rest is really in special attack. Like, to make this mon absolutely perfect, you just take the rest of the attack stat out and put it into special attack for, like, four more. That's about it. That's literally all I would change about this. It's almost ideal. The problem is I got it at level eight, so it's lost a move. So heart skill will be useful for one move. Hopefully that move wasn't fucking Ice Beam or something. We'll see. What's the word, Lee? We like this mon. 
Probably one of the best mods I've seen in the last hundred attempts. Lam Lepa, okay. So, we just need to not run into ghosts for a little while here, and we'll be okay. I have three moves that can't miss. Yeah, what the hell? It's kind of weird. That's actually really weird. <laughs> what? Three unmissable moves. That is actually really strange. Hey, look, we get a look at Seeking. It's very tanky. What's up, Woda? Yep, just in time for a Mon that's gonna have about 2.7 times its level in special attack, probably. Maybe 2.8. With really good everything else. It's also high, yeah, they, like, super luck is really good with this, too. Super luck is great. Uh, with super luck, I would take setup as focus energy. That would be pretty dope. Yeah, we really just need shadow ball on this, I think. And ice beam. That's really it. Shadow ball, ice beam on this? We're cooking a little bit of gas. So two moves. We're two moves away from a Giga Chad. And then the third move can be... Shed coverage. Sure. Let's go with that. For Alligator... Interesting HM friend, if I were to choose so. Yeah, I mean, normal ice types are really bad. Like, ice types by themselves... They're bad. They only resist one thing and are weak to four. That's not a good um, spread of coverage. Offensively, they're really good. So if we can get Aurora Beam, if we can get Ice Beam, we are really cooking. We gotta get those things. So we'll see if it happens. Slow start, Pineco. Dude, what? Or sphere coverage. <laughs> Jingling. I like this mon. Might be one of the best mons I've seen in a while. As ice type though. Let's see what we can do. It's got gas. So we gotta get it some uh, gas X here. Not a big fan of this. That's what I would like to have. You move. Haze. That is kind of better than poison gas, I think. Just in case. So ghosts still give us a problem. Nothing else is really too bad, though. Except for uh, Metagross. Metagross is not great. Well, we have Ors here for that. Stab Haze. Dude, we have four never miss moves in the act column, yeah? Dude, we just can't miss. We have a move, and we just never miss. Ever. It's kind of cool. I kind of like that. I like never missing. Anyone else with me? Just never, ever miss. He don't miss. This is the he don't miss run. He don't miss. <laughs> I 
the shockwave. need to make it out of this. <laughs> Are you a believer, though? C check. Alright guys, Faulkner. Faulkner Pred. What do you think? I know we've been a little bit low on the, the number of Preds done today, but what are we thinking here? We got one. Super luck? Every time I'm reminded that I have super luck, I'm like, wow, that's good. And then I forget promptly again that I have it. <laughs> yeah, I really wish I could take some of the attack out. Super luck raises the critical hit stage, aka the chance to crit, by one. Meaning it goes from one sixteenth to one out of eight. Eighty-four percent believe with a um, one hundred K on belief. Okay, here we go. Facial end. Yep. This is basically the worst possible Pokemon that I could see. We're gonna eat through some heals here. Wow. That's disturbing. Dude, how is that real? Basically, the worst possible Pokemon I could have seen there. I thought about healing because of the drop special attack, but I'm not confident in it. I'm not confident in it. That, I'm a lot more confident. Alright, let's go. Brother. sucks. Should be okay. I don't think I would heal here. Well, that 
sucks. Literally, my last Drapion run had Overheat 2 on the Drapion. The carryover. Dang, dude. Why did he save it till last? That's really stupid. Alright, coming up was Miracle Eye, Belly Drum, Low Kick, Seismic Toss, Baton Pass, Leech Life, Rock Tomb, Rock Throw, Camouflage. Unlearnable Dragon Claw, Sweet Kiss, Unlearnable Swords Dance, Sludge Bomb, Bone Club, and Brian and Kanto. Well, Sludge Bomb, resisted by ghosts, but it was something. Unfortunately, Vital Throw, being the move we didn't learn, that was impossible. Hell of a stat spread here, with the plus special attack nature, almost perfect. Just barely still had overheat. God, man. Tough. But it wouldn't have done it. It did not have that thing that set it apart from the rest. Like Ice Beam. Or Shadow Ball. Did not have that thing that really set it apart, so... Almost! We saw a really good Mon, but the moves did not come through. And then we also got roasted. Sludge Bomb, so it's a little bit better, but yes. Fun to see a decent run. Sad to see its potential not realized. But maybe that means more good stuff are, are on the way here. It had four infinite accuracy moves with haze. <laughs> I know it doesn't count, but that's cool. Okay. Pokemon most likely to comfort you after your run was unfairly taken by Parish Song or a bad day in general. Nope. Maybe. Probably not. I guess Anorith. I mean, we can look up Kingdra Pokédex just to make sure. In the Pokédex. I want to know, like, all its Pokédex entries. That's a terrible website. Pokédex entries. It's said that it usually hides in underwater caves, create whirlpools by yawning. It sleeps deep on the ocean floor. Causes tornadoes as it wakes. I don't know if that's really supportive. It's all about sleeping on the sea, sea floor devoid of life. Building energy and causing tornadoes and whirlpools. Fierce battle ensues when a Kingdra and Dragonite meet. Scales shed by this Pokemon have splendid, splendorous gleam to them, and they've been given to royalty as gifts. I don't think it's... <sighs> Anorith would try, yeah, that's the thing. We are randomizing it, but it's via redemptions that chat puts in sometimes. Once those run out, then I do middle every time. Hmm. Nobody's did not. Nobody is. Nobody is saying that it's Anorith here. Ignore the tornadoes. All right, I'm gonna look at Anoriths just to make sure it's not like a good thing. Old Shrimp Pokemon. It grips its prey firmly between its two large claws. It 
So... I feel like this actually doesn't do it. Like, the Anorith? Anorith is a hundred million years old. It doesn't know what comfort is. It's like one- it's- it literally is just primordial, like it just exists to eat and grip prey in its claws. Mankey would punch you. I guess this is the most protective and thus comforting Mon, maybe? I don't know. It's none of these three? Yeah. 500 million? It awakens when needed. Yeah, there are a lot of redemptions, and I'm trying to get through all of them, but... <laughs> and then we just end up- we end up getting stuck. A king is in fact supposed to protect its subjects by de by nature here. Okay, this is a, this is a loose one. It's a loose one, but it makes sense. <clears throat> a loose one, but it makes sense. This is definitely a man's. Blue Jay, I think we give this up to Thor. Appreciate that. Sorry, we got a little stuck on that. Sometimes these lab mons are tough. But we are done with the queue. I'm considering, um, instead of limiting limiting the queue to one per person, I'm gonna limit it to like five per stream. Does that make sense? I think I would uh I think I would rather do these like in, in isolated amounts so that they're more special. And we can think of really good ones. Maybe do both? Yes. Yes. Do you not get a Q? No, you can't, Blue Jay. I'm gonna... I'll change it, like, after. Seems fake? <laughs> I thought you were... I thought you were, like... I thought you were telling me that's... That was a bad idea. <laughs> like, yeah, you piece of shit for that. You real piece of work. <laughs> Holy shit, these Pokemon. Good night. Are they both slow as hell? Left for you? Let's go. Yeah, it was fine when we were doing rights and lefts. I agree with that. And that's how it was meant to be, but... You know, we, we breached it a little bit because the idea was fun. And I still like it a lot, but maybe I will limit it to, like, five per stream. Because that's still a decent amount, especially if we're on a run. We're not going to do any in a stream. A an expensive one? Yeah, like, maybe, but I don't really want to separate it. Because then doing left, middle, and right doesn't really... It's not really special. Okay, yeah, can't be burnt. Quad resisted, so 15 attack, maybe. Special attack. Could be higher, though. It's a very coarse rule of a number. So it could be anywhere from, like, 13 to 20. <laughs> there is a Jolteon, but it's slow. I've outsped it every time. We'll see if it's actually slow, but right now it's not looking good. Whoa. Okay. Unexpected. Soundproof. Tail glow. <laughs> uh. Mixed attacker. No guard. Okay, weird. No guard. Nothing. No guard, nothing, dude. Dark Void unlearnable. Fuck. <laughs> Would that Mankey have? I don't care. I only had 11 defense, so, like, it just had to have over 11 attack at 8, which is pathetic. To be able to crate and kill. Thank you again, Blue Jay, for the gift. That's not a bad idea. I don't want to forget that I'm going to implement it, though, so we'll do it right now. We'll do it. I'll do it right now. And it's not like it was a it was a good run. It's all ogre. You know, it, it's it's been really good. The last few streams, we've, um, we've averaged, like, 18 to 20 of these redemptions, and that's why they keep piling up. So limiting it to five, I think, is a really good idea.
There we go. There we go. Updated that. I think that that's going to be a really good balance. Especially if we keep getting more people watching the Ironmon runs, because it's starting to take off now in Heart Gold Soul Silver. You know, like, having that balance would be really nice. And and then, of, of course, like, subs and bits would, would uh, circumvent that that limit this is would this would be five via channel points so i should probably clarify that too yeah channel points there we go so yeah somebody could just take over and gift a bunch of subs and keep the queue really long anyways you could do that cast form um he missed a shuckle oh my god this thing's a gig what this thing's a giga chad Dude, give this huge power. Holy shit. This thing had huge power, we'd run the hell out of this. It would be so cool. Magic guard, though. What's up, Iris? Save them for a longer run. After a longer run is ended, do them as a pick-me-up. Yeah, I just don't... I mean, there's an easy way to, like, look at the queue and tr remember where you are. It, remembering where you are sucks a little bit, but... Yeah, I mean, it's possible. I don't want to keep people waiting, though. Like, the, the point of it, too, is that when you redeem it... Wait, I even have the Balls moveset? Holy shit, dude, do you see this? Balls moveset. The name is Balls. Think you're the Dr. Pepper at Ghosty. Also, Iris Turley, hope you guys are doing well. You're doing alright. He's got some balls here. America's good to see you. Rochelle, thank you for the raid. How's the Iron Man trip been? Have you upgraded yet? I am very well aware. You're doing the default Iron Man. Very good stuff. Hope you're still enjoying that. Welcome, welcome. I just put on the pep hat, so you know you know it's getting real here. Just doing standard, you'd love to see it. I mean, I you're better if you win in standard, you're gonna have more wins of Iron Mon total than I do. And I've been in here for freaking nine months. <laughs> so you're about to one up me with a W in that in that mode. I've even tried ultimate runs. No. To no avail. When I get, like, illegal huge power mons, I even do ultimate runs and I still lose. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I remember the Rapidash. My runs have been, um, just about like what you see here. For some reason, I have a, a slightly runnable cast form. I don't know why, but we do have it need things to go right, and they're not going correctly. That was a crit, though, so we could be okay. Um, stop. Okay, that sucks. Dude, it's possible, come on. Just have to do it one more time, but I'm scared about Iron Head. It's gonna kill. Don't use Iron Head. It used Iron Head. And a crit as well. So I was dead anyways. My runnable cast form, dude. <laughs> Who's gonna get stab judgment? Oh. Dude, this thing gets moves at 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 20, and 30. Stab stomp. Ice punch? Shadow punch? Dude, what? The cast form. <laughs> the cast form, dude. This thing is awesome. That's so dumb. Yeah, I got three crits and hit by Zap Cannon in one half. That's okay. Uh, attempts so far to me for me today, I've seen a really, really good Glaceon. Just really solid through and through. Just barely didn't make it through Faulkner because the Ace Drapion decided to overheat. Which is just great for a Glaceon. Just wonderful. 
Uh, otherwise, um, <laughs> we've had some adventures today, though. A lot of scouting adventures, which is one of my specialties. I do a lot of math here. They call me one of the more analytical um, Ironmon people. We do the math, we do the mental math, we we ponder the uh, potential here. Middle. Damn it. We ponder the potential, and then we die anyways. It's a lot of fun. Well, exclamation point math, and you have a starting point. <laughs> I have the command for it. Dude, she has a Metapod too! Let's go! She has the minus Metapod. She has to. We, I have the plus Metapod. She has the minus. It was a match made in Kanto. Yes. LB Dubs cleared um, Black and White Kaizo a long time ago. Now, a long time ago. With a pure power cast form, which is technically illegal. But already in this game, I apply the pure power limit to uh, 425 instead of 400. I just run it as a higher thing because there's a power creep. There's a power creep, there's the physical special split, there's everything more. And compiled with the, the point of the pure power rule, allowing evolution runs and encouraging evolution runs to happen more often. Uh, well, most of the things you can evolve are right at 400 to 420 BST. Like all the starter mid-evos, just all sorts of stuff are right at 400, so... Or 405, or 410, or 415. So, that is why I I amend that rule in particular. And I've still, even though I say that, I've still never even done it. I've still never even had a pure power mon. I saw it one time on a Bibberl, and then I died anyways. So I've still never even put that into play. Thank you, Rochelle. E4 soon moment. <laughs> I mean, I was I was at E4 uh, just about 120 attempts ago, and I died on the last mod of Lance. So I've been there, done that. <laughs> Been there, done that. Good fun. Well. Labging. So good to hear that you're, uh, well, I hope your stream went well. It's good to hear about it. Your enemies have Dragon Rage the most. Well, <laughs> and Reflect, huh? Oh, yeah, that's a great move, Reflect. seen a lot of values thrown around. Yeah, I pondered 420 and 425 myself for a while. I'm not sure which one I like more. Middle. Hopefully we don't have to fight the Aerodactyl. All we have to do is explode, and then we win. Actually, close combat on the Bonsly. Wah, Why am I not picking 420? Because Sunflora is 425, and something else is 425, what is it? That I really want to do a pure power run on. I can't remember what it is, though. And then there's Quillfish and Swallow at 430, and I don't care about doing huge power mons on those. There's a 424. Yes, there is. Noctile is 442, as is Furo. What is 424, then? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Sunfloor. It's a grass type that's a piece of trash. It deserves it. You'd never, ever, ever see a Sunfloor run otherwise. Why not bring it into the... into the swing of things? Dude, Parish Song is not the... I, I almost never see Parish Song, really, when we think about it. It's actually really surprising to me when the, the soundbite plays and the move is used. When I hear it, it's actually really surprising because I don't, I don't really get it that much. Ah, Wormadam, that's it. And Motham, yeah. Yeah, both of those. 
Marowak is 425, Dugtrio is 405, Wormadam is 424. Dugtrio is really bad. But yeah, those would be examples of pure power months. Bibberol, 410. Azumarill and Metacham, the OGs have 410. Huge power pizza, man. Except we can never get the pizza. Are you kidding me, man? It's 425. That's a gym change, like, uh, that's a gym change, like, um, what's it called? Azumarill. Wait, it had Aftermath? That's <laughs> jeez. I wasn't even looking. I was thinking. Most common in Gen 2 and decreases after that, yep. We're all doing well at this fine late night. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, my Maru, aka Thursday, is booked. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to stream tomorrow, unfortunately, on Twitch. Because I will be busy on YouTube. Even if I don't do my own YouTube stream, I'm pretty sure I'm needed until about midnight. Maybe 11 p.m. Central. I could fudge it, but I don't know if I want to. It's probably going to take a lot out of me. And I'm probably going to do my own stream anyways. So I think that I will stream on the 12th. If there's not another weather stream to do on the 12th, which are, there might be. But hopefully not. Uh, was that all three mons here? Did I see the third one? So we'll probably no stream tomorrow. Hopefully I can get a stream in on the 12th, and then I will be gone for two weeks. Two weeks of no Kaizo. Actually pretty sad about it. I just want anything but the bell sprout. Hey, <laughs> enjoy the stat changes, bitch. Oh, your freaking moves are trash, dude. I just want anything but this, though. Yep, I will be storm chasing for two weeks. I stream on YouTube? Yes. Oh my god, it was a bad idea. I should not have done anything different. <laughs> yep, and then GDQ starts in two weeks from now. I will be doing two weeks of storm chasing you. Yeah. I mean, if it's super... If it's super scuffed, it would theoretically be possible for me to set up and stream on... Uh, maybe stream on a MacBook with one of the one of the people I'm chasing with with their laptop. Maybe I'd have to use a capture card. Oh God, I just don't even. And the the Wi-Fi would have to work. Like I I, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna happen. Thank you, Lesbianage. Whoa. Wait, that actually has a lot of attack, what the hell? I thought it had none, but it's actually got a lot. Just kidding, it has none. Just kidding, it's huge! Oh my god, what the heck, it's only attack. Dude, how did that roll one on cross poison? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know how that rolled one. It's only attack, which means it's bad. It's only attack and HP. Nothing else on this thing. Rats, man. Could have been all that, but it's not. Yes, yeah, quad resist, but it's still 17.5 power. Should roll two damage. Should roll three damage. Alright, we make it through. Nice crit. Sniper crit. Uh, yep, thrash. I wish it was- I wish it was something. But it's not. 
It is nothing. Nothing but pure sadness in the form of a slow bro. That thing's fast. Yay, revival herb! That's fast as hell. Mmm, bad attack. Decent defense, I think. <laughs> not gonna- not gonna get it yet. I wanna see my other two mons here. Okay, that was a crit. level up between mons and replace it, what happens? It still uses it until it confuses itself, because it only takes one PP to use a move like that. So because it only takes one PP to use the move, then it just keeps going until it's done. Which is either two or three turns. Yep. Shellgon no attack? Possible special attacker Evo run? Question mark? Dude, I... I can't use this. I mean, it learns moves. Whatever. It learns moves. We'll go for it. My, my, I can feel my head starting to hurt. My temple is throbbing. This does not happen very often unless you get three hours of sleep in the last uh, 34 hours of being awake. <laughs> Water absorb is sick, but you know, this mod doesn't really do it, unfortunately. Doesn't really do Oh! Poggers! Okay, we get to do the escape rope pred. Finally. HP, heal, and escape rope room, guys. There are four items. You'll get only one minute. So, I'll tab now to gamble. Will there be an HP, heal, in the escape rope room? Four item checks. What are we thinking? Good luck. Pred is 50-50 right now. So many more doubters, though. 13 doubters to 4 believers. Oh, man. Oh, man. What do we think it here is the four items? <clears throat> okay. All right. 44.56. Ready. Stone plage. Two. Iron. Three. Fresh water, dude. Leavers. And a soda pop. Two for four, man. The vending machine. Two for four. They should get a double payout, man. Yes. HP heal this time.
That was a big one. I don't have any cool storm chasing clothes, no. Bottle drink sealed in an ancient ruin? They're the lost flavors. Oh, hello. It's fast. Mixed attacker, though. Shit. Shit. Oh, come on, Swampy. Why are you like this? Why are you so mega little bad? It's so bad. It's so bad. Watch how bad this is. Well, you know, all you have to do is just give this thing, uh... What is it called, guys? Sword Stance! Sword Stance! Sword Stance. That's all we need. Just need some sword dancing. This tinted lens is cool. Tinted Lens Night Slash goes really hard, bud. We need it. Swords Dance. Setup. Okay, I'll try it. I really don't want to, though. It is hardly even worth trying. joy. This is not going to be a fun one. This is not going to be a fun one, I can already tell you. Knock it off. We finally get Sword Stance, though, on a Sword Stancing Mon. That would be pretty cool. With these defense stats and this HP, we can live, we can live a Grass-type hit. We can live it. Have a good one, Tangelo. Thanks for being here. Yeah, we're gonna go far because it's not fun. No clouds. Wait. Saw lightning bolt. Oh, did it like travel along the cloud? It must have been one of them horizontal ones. That's so far away from us. Storms are 56 miles away from us. <laughs> it's very far away. So it must have been one of them anvil crawler lightning bolts. Them there. What's up, sailor? I want to see the swamp get, uh... You saw a bright flash, too? You're making it up. The reason why it would take forever... I mean, the reason why we would hear the thunder, even though it takes forever to get here, is because the sound gets uh, trapped underneath the inversion. So it would keep bouncing uh, around right at the surface. Pretty cool stuff.
Where are these storms going? Hmm. Of course, they're going east, not north. So we will not get the storms. They'll just be far away and we can watch them for a while. It'll be fun to watch them for a while, to be fair. Man. So sneeze. Some good old thunder boomers out and around these parts here. At three in the morning. How quickly the seasons change. From me freezing and it being six six feet of snow outside to now I'm sweating in my entire body. And there's storms around. Sharpen, dude, we got freaking set up? Okay. Wait. It's not the setup that I need, but it is setup. Okay. No, my head's not getting heavy. Dang, what? Oh my god, dude. Uh, ice and rock. Ugh. Oh, what the heck? Whoa. Alright, we, we can't set up on... We'll set up once on most fights. We just need to get out of here before we... Before we get status. The dungeons are the scariest thing with this mon. We just need to not get status. Like, I'm, I'm happy to set up on the three fights in Faulkner's Gym or whatever. I'll probably try to get through the trainers. Now we can set up on this, on this dude. Okay. All right. Well. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Just don't get hit by grass type moves, I think. And we really can do some stuff here. Hmm. Be a little odd. Do we have stuff to turn in? Two soda pops, fresh water, iron. I want that. Yeah. Anything except special attack on this thing is good. So I'll take it. It's either a tank or unaware. One of those two. I'm good one licked. Enjoy the doggo cuddles. Alright, let's run the Faulkner Pred for this. There you go. Let's see. Do you think we'll be able to set up on Faulkner? Ninety-five percent believe. Late night believers. We need rindo berries with this. Rindo berries are the the berries that prevent or uh, have super effective grass type damage on you. Those would be sick pickups. 
What are we thinking? 7327? Okay, okay. Okay. Damn it. Astro Acid. Only 8 p.m. there? That's dope. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Faulkner. Let's see what you got. Just set up probably three times or four. Little eggs. That's faster than frick, dude. Jesus. Very loud lightning. Very loud thunder. For being 56 miles away. Inversion moment, dude. Let's get under here. That thing is just not going to have any... Alright, let's see. Kind of scared about... Oh. Kind of scared about only being plus two. Oh, no. Okay. It's not tanky. Or it's not, uh... It's not powerful. We'll have to heal here, but we can live. Don't lower the special defense. Don't crit. Oh, wow. What? How many crits can you get? I need to go see these storms, guys. There are lightning bolts being flung freaking 50 miles out from this storm. Unreal. One earth power left. Show us on stream, right? We always have speed. Oh my god. I can't, uh... I can't out-hit this. I literally can't out-hit this. And it's always going out of milk drink, too. Need a crit. Dude. Right, waste a milk drink here.
Please milk drink again. Nice. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh my god! It gets the crit, of course. Jesus, man. Alright, this should be the last milk drink here. Last milk drink. Stall Magma Storm. It's gonna use Magma Storm now, probably. Dude, what is this shit? Why does he get the crits? Ah, <laughs> you're so funny. So amazing and epic and poggers, man. Really cool. Super luck. Yeah, super cock, more like. Oh, that sucked really bad. What's up, Nanarith? Welcome, Brickyo! Is that D-Claw? Please tell me that's D-Claw. D-Rush, of course. Unable. Uh, who's getting the juice here? I think it's, uh... Slow broge. Somehow. I broke out potions, energy powders just to get through that fight. So. A decent amount of resources spent on that, which is kind of bad. Kind of bad. But welcome, Xylong. How many milks this man have? Milk drink always has 10 PP. 10 PP. Intense fight. Yay! Hyper potion. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay. Storm? Yes. Bring me the heels. Mantike, my beloved, my favorite Pokemon ever. No shards at all. That sucks. No shards. I don't like that very much. Strange, yeah. I think the average really is one shard. I get one shard almost every single time, but sometimes you get up to four. Zero, on the other hand, doesn't happen too often. But this does. This was the escape rope room run, and it had the fresh water and soda pop in there. That's pretty, bu pretty blessed. Pretty blessed. God damn it. Always this freaking thing, dude. It's always this thing.
it's always, it's always, it's always, it's always, it's always that. Oh, that's bad. If this doesn't one-shot, I might die here. Oof. That was scary. I didn't realize Dig and Divide was pretty... Yeah, that's a pretty bad combo. Pretty bad combination there. It must be a different emote set. That's why it. Ba that's why it's a different horse. Different horse. So much pessimism. Hey, it's it's warmer, damn. What can I say? Thing sucks. Thing is annoying and sucks. Wormadam is the thing that I will always be pessimistic about, to be fair. Mozilla's. Sweaty Gamer. Yeah, it's still pretty bad in here. Still pretty dang bad. Very hot. Very. It's because it's humid, all, all the warm air is just stuck inside the apartment. Or in the... Not the apartment, the townhouse. I don't live in an apartment anymore. Thank God. Frick that. My friend. My Gen 3 friend. Dang, dude, with tinted lens, it's perfect coverage. Nearly everything with tinted lens is perfect coverage. <laughs> New move. Poison Tail, it's just not going to do it, I think. High crit rate, but it's not better than Jump Kick. It's not better than any of these moves. Have a good one, Jom. Thanks for hanging out for so long. Appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Post combat? It's a little tough. A little tough, I'm not sure about that. I think jump kick's really good for getting rid of something that we need to not be on the screen. Dude, if that was level 23, I was about to just be like, really? to say really again okay not bad not bad i i can say i've been hit by solar beam in this run and lived let's go that's huge news dude hit by solar beam and lived you'd love to hear about it 26 entering union pretty good yeah, jump kick gravity counter is funny, but I mean it did take the turn because I went, I went first, so use gravity and then I couldn't use it, but then I died because I couldn't use it. No, Burmy is bug type, not grass. All the forms are bug type. Oh bam! Kick it in the nuts.
There's my magma razor. Twenty-three Celsius would be my favorite. That's a uh, seventy-five Fahrenheit or something. Seventy-three Fahrenheit. Whoops. That would be my favorite. Oh, great, a Giga Chad. Not bad. Not bad. 80 Fahrenheit is perfect there. I like your style. But other people do not like your style. Haha, <laughs> jump kick. Fire hit. Not a lot of contact? Almost none. The thing that I did hit with contact was... I, I think it didn't matter. Ooh, max. Jesus, okay. Ooh. A little spicy on the heels here. I knew that was coming, dude. Oh! <gasps> I knew that was coming. Defog into Seed Flare. I was like, it's gonna use fucking Power Whip or something with the lower accuracy. That's so stupid, man. Damn. Ooh. High jump kick was coming, guys. And the headbutt. Nothing from the team, so that's just crap. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. That's what happens when you run... When you do set up with a four times weakness. Wasn't even that good. At overgrow, though. <laughs> It wasn't even that good. It was gonna live a lot, though, so I was dead anyways. Oh yeah, Polygrath. Polygrath. What is this? 2581. It's just stupid, dude. It's just really dumb. Yep. Oh. It's just really dumb and stupid and dumb. Whew. <laughs> show us light show you lightning. I don't see any more happening. I don't see any more happening. I would like to. It would be fun. But also, it's just like... Ugh, it's like raining out. I don't have another good spot to show you except my bedroom. I don't have as good of a spot to look at as we did in the last place. It learned barrier? Yeah, of course it did. Do I play them as they come out? Yes, but I don't stream them. Like, I, I played through Violet, but I didn't stream it. I really enjoyed it, though. Enjoyed it. 3:30 a.m. One more lab attempt here. Best Pokemon of all time? This game. Followed by the rest of uh, Gen 4, followed by Gen 5, and then Gen 9. I like 4, 5, and 9. It's my top 3. Which Pokemon? Mantike is my favorite. I freaking love Mantike, dude. Middle! Oof, that sucks. 
the Zed dude. Nine, how? Kappa? Well, with the Kappa, you know how. Ah, Shed! What a great start to this run. I like Shed. Something blue? Mantike is blue. Wait. Holy shit. Setup? Okay. Incentive to win. Dragon Dance Drapion is incentive to win, man. D-Dance, one of the most broken moves. Come on. Come on now. What's up, James? I need to pivot. I need balls. I need to beat the lab fight to do that. And the lab fight is a shaman. Which is... Going to suck. But funnily enough, my, my last run that Charizard with D-Dance, that should have made it to Kanto... Uh, was also against a, a rab, a lab, uh, shaman. The rival Zace is a shaman as well. Yeah, lots of leftovers in the early game here. I need balls. Hey! hey. Same hat. <laughs> That's not the same hat. That's stupid. Why are you wasting my time? Okay. That was not the last lab attempt, because that was stupid and dumb and idiot. Not the last lab attempt. I don't like that. Therefore, I will not call it there. I am not a fan. Middle. I am okay. I'm fine. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind picking the worst mod in the lab every time. It's okay. See, if I pick the worst mod in the lab every time, it just means every time I get a good mod, it's even more exciting. Encounterless? Oh! Encounterless Route 29. Holy smokes. Satisfying. But we get the gold duck anyways. We get the gold duck anyways! Have I played Gale of Darkness? Yes, I really do, like, I mean, I was say I was just raiding the main series games. Golduck might be slow. I was raiding the main series games. I love Mystery Dungeon first and foremost of all, but Coliseum and Dark, uh, Gale of Darkness, XD, Lamau, are really, really, really good. I have the highest cope in any stream ever? Really? Bro. You should watch some other Kaizo streamers. I, like, have already accepted that mons are bad and stop coping almost always. Only times I don't are um, when I'm trying to get set up. I think it was slow. Mm, isn't that slow? Earth power. Damn it. Nah, we can do more. I'll do one more. And then after that, I might do one more. What do you guys think? One more? One more? Yeah, Ty, they they get pretty bad. You, you see all the mons that I pivot off of? They don't pivot off of those Pokemon, and they try to run them. It's really, really cope. <laughs> Middle. 
Stay winning, guys. Middle. Middle gaming. Middle gaming. Unaware of my surroundings. Stay winning. Yeah, another time. Maybe we'll do another one, and then possibly one more after that. We'll see about the next one after that. Still feeling good. I am. I have the. I have the heavy head, as in I. I am tired, but like I'm. I still have a little energy left. I don't absolutely have to end and go to sleep. I'm at that part where at any point I could go to sleep and feel really good. So I'm just basking in it right now. Milk, so you hope you're doing well. Basculin. A good source of XP in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> they give it a lot of XP. You asked this yesterday, too. Also, I love that the copy pasta gets the cat emote thrown in it. The, the cat emote in the copy pasta makes it better. You've been here for, like, three streams. Dude, my chat is so is so aggressive. They're like Don't worry, I'm able to make the judgment call because I remember whether or not the same message was sent before. Nothing like uh being quad resisted here. Dude, we outspeed. Counter? Dude, we win. Watch this. We win. We win. It's unbelievable. Yeah, we did one damage. I think that was really close. I didn't expect the... I didn't expect it to kill, actually. It was 60 power. Okay, I guess I expected it to kill. That's fine. Thank you for the grats. Yeah, I'll take it. GZ middle. That's fine, man. I really am starting not to care. <laughs> I just don't care. It's just okay, man. What's up, Spence? Nothing like Arceus and Registeel and Lyra has a Heatran. What do I get? Matang. What if it has three? You just get to pick one of them and then you pivot after the lab fight. I've done it exactly one time. And it was uh, just about 170 attempts ago. For the first time ever. Hopefully that answers your questions. Oh my god. From no no encounters to like 17 of them. It's just huge. So this is a fork? Yeah, this is a this is a kind of a fork. A little bit a little bit weird. The fork is a little weird. I wouldn't want to eat food with this fork, uh, but yes. A little bit of a fork going on here. Good eye. You have an eye for the fork, my friend. <laughs> oh my god, my freaking head. Yeah, it is hurting. I can tell that I am lacking sleep. 
because I don't usually get side headaches. That's very un uncommon for me. Orc, it's when you have all attack and speed and no defenses. It's a, it's like a mauled. Another name for a mixed attacker, low defense is a fork. Because the mo when you look at the stat spread, it looks like a fork. The valleys in between are the defenses. Dedge, 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 dedge. There are custom names and trainer classes renewable for 20,000 channel points each sec. You get to choose what gets added to the pool. Yeah, can't go to bed until I win. Subathon. No sleep subathon until I beat Kaizo Ironmon. Please don't let me die. Mom with the most purple on the sprite. Falling, uh, failing that. Following that. Mom with most red or blue. Okay. Most purple. Are the legs purple? I think they are. This is all red and blue, but it's illegal. The legs are purple. Good redemption. Usually the color ones don't actually, uh, they don't actually work out, but this time it worked out. Thanks to the legs. I have to edit that huge power command, actually, because Azumarill only has 410 BST in this game. I just took its most recent BST to be the truth. Which it isn't. It was- 10 special attack was added later on. Thank you for the information, Zach. I actually did not know that slang for the word penis. Yeah, I literally died to the most purple mod. It's like, bitch, why didn't you choose me? I am purple. Literally all purple. Okay, middle. Tinted lens. For ugly as purple. <laughs> Melodic do you you're just really getting the, the luck today. Way more than me, that's for sure. Except for that Glacian. It's pretty dope. Luck incense. Holy crap. <laughs> Talk about it and, it and it shows up, man. Okay. Some viable mons. Interesting. Some people choose their Iron Mon Pokemon in the lab. They choose which one they want, and they obviously will take the best one every time. That is actually against the rules. That is against the rules. The correct rules are randomizing it and calling, and the way you do that is you call out which spot in the lab you're going to pick before you pick it. And then you're locked in. Then you are locked in. That's how it works. Espeon, Starmie, Meganium, all mons to look at here. The hope is that I can get out. But I'm not sure about this. That was a crit process. Great. Oh, I have tinted lens. What am I doing? I didn't even realize that.
right. Just to get a look at these mons, that's why I got the hell out of there. Repeat balls. All right, I'm gonna go, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just gonna start looking. Bullet seed is trash. Again, you learn no moves, so I'm not particularly interested in you right now. Okay, solidly trash. Has the best move in the game for it, and it is solidly trash. Next up is the Megan. Let's see if it's any good to pivot to before moving on, although I probably should get the Espeon first. No special attack at all. Interesting. No special attack at all means that it could be a really good physical attacker. It's one of the, my favorite things to scout. Okay. Or it's just bad in general. Yep, that's terrible. Also got a really low roll on Heat Wave there. For having 11. Yeah, that's a really low roll. Because I had 12 special defense. Okay, Espeon time. Yeah, 34 HP at 5, unusable. Uh oh, RP in chat. Don't go wild now. Don't go all wild at the same time. What kind of moves go through high health and speed? Um, explosion. Yeah. We had the same idea. RP. Bro, get the stupid... Where's the SP on it? Thank you. Fast as hell. Mm, pretty good. Mm, weird. Weird attack. Okay. Oh, the moves are trash. We'll go for it, though. Crap, these Pokemon, dude. <laughs> How is this real right now? It's all speed and HP again. Uh, <laughs> it's just as it's just as bad, if not freaking worse, than the Meganium. How does it happen? No, I don't want you. There's not going to be anything good, is there? I'm sad. I am sad. Yeah, huge power, maybe. I mean, this is not the worst, but, like, please. Also, what is that special defense? It's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Seeing Will-O-Wisp. It didn't do enough for huge power. It didn't do enough for huge power. Yeah, it's it's like 14 attack. But it's not enough. 
What is the third Pokemon? Elkid. Um. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, we move on. It's gonna be tough to beat Trainer 1. I'm gonna try, though. Friendship Evo? Elekid? Is it really a Friendship Evo? No, I think it's a level up. Dude, the encounters this run are unreal. Okay, more Pokemon to look at. I hate that you said Friend Evil. Why did you say Friend Evil? Why did you say Friend Evil? I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. It's going to have the most cracked moves I've ever seen, though. It will. Buddy. Okay. Well, that's our next stop. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna see what else is here. Nah, I'm just gonna look at everything. I'm not gonna catch the Golbat yet, though. Because I want to look at Route 32 while I have a lot of speed. So we're gonna see the moves first. We've seen all four Pokemon, so now we just need to find the Golbat again. out the moves here. See what we got. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. What? <laughs> Air blast and thunder punch. And the tentacruel? Oh, wow. We are going to learn Eruption. Oops. Tail Glow. The only way this was possible was if I did not immediately friend Evo, and I kept Thunder Punch, Air Blast, Sky Uppercut, um, Earth Power. If I got to Earth Power. And then I had Air Blast, Earth Power. And Eruption. And then later on I could learn Dark Pulse Post Radio Tower with Tail Glow. And then, finally, in Kanto, you get Charge Beam and Air Slash, but it's so late in the run. Maybe. Maybe it was feasible, I'm not sure. It's a little slow. It's interesting, though. Left? Okay, yeah. 
Damn. Yes, the eight in Ruins of Alf has uh, had my second best ever Pokemon, which was the the No Guard Tangrowth that I had recently. That was a Ruins of Alf pivot. We're gonna have Earth Beam, Ice Power, Thunder Plot, and Nasty Bolt. Left. Hey guys, it's Switch Prime backwards. The Tail Glow TM seed, I know. And we don't know, we don't, we have no idea what was in the grass on the other route. Is this just a crit stab aeroblast? We have no idea what it was. It could have been anything. Firestone. The Bish moveset. Shiny Quags. <laughs> Look a little funky for a Quagsire. Little funky. Not too far away, though. Yes, EV reducing berries are in this game. The way you can get them is by turning in shards in Fuchsia City in Kanto. That is how you can get them. I've contemplated using them one and during one run. I ultimately decided not to, but there there is a world. There is a world where you can try it. River Dance is not in this game. There would be 25 more wins of Hard Cold Souls over Kaizo using Quiver Dance if it was in this game. They cannot be found randomly yet. That's the only way. Currently, in Kaizu. No problem. Any any questions, I'm happy to answer. Since I myself run the Silly Berries. <laughs> oh, I have a meeting tomorrow. I just rem- No, I don't. Yeah, got pushed back. Let's go. Meeting pushed back. Sleep in time. Middle. Yep, friend Eva. Well, we have to make it through the, the rival fight for me to want to do it. I have to make it through the rival fight to do the friend Evo. Alley would be sick, Infernape would be sick, Blaziken would be sick, Machamp would be sick. Those are generally the best mons that we want to see out of this. Generally, those four. I forgot to heal. I forgot to heal! Ah. How many stone evos have I done? Only like a handful, really. It's actually really hard to come across them and the right mons for them. It's kind of stupid. 
Like, I got a metal coat a couple runs ago, and here's the Scyther. Holy shit, okay. 20 power. Oh, it was a frickin' Blaziken. Oh, it sucked ass, though. Holy shit. It's all D. With Flamethrower, this was Copium. <sighs> Wasn't too bad. Definitely Copium, though. We got nothing else. Nothing else? It's badge. Yeah, really not that many, uh, really not that many Stone Evos, though. That's how you know I'm addicted to Kaizo, man. <laughs> it's before in the morning. I've been absolutely toasted on my sleep schedule here, almost 36 hours with only three hours. How you know I'm addicted to middle. How many Porygon Zeds, man? This is what needs huge power, dude. Give this huge power. Holy crap, it'd be so good. So close. This is a huge power spread. Like a little more base attack, but like that's a huge power spread. It's close. It's close, but not quite. The idea was there. The execution, not so much. Bronzong has the worst possible attack stat, which is so sad. The absolute worst possible attack stat of 12 at level 5. I just hate seeing that. It is the worst one. Because it is bad in that it's way too much BSD in a useless stat. And it's obviously not runnable because it's not high enough. It's just the worst thing. I hate, I hate it when it happens. My least favorite one. Especially in a good mod, dude. Bronzong's so good. If I was gonna get to Kanto twice on a Pokemon, it would probably be Bronzong. Or an Empoleon. <laughs> Those two? Probably. Probably both of them. The, the, the three mons that I've gotten to Kanto with are almost the three Pokemon that make the most sense to get to Kanto with. Electivire. Only having one weakness and having the, you know, the tied third highest BSD. Makes perfect sense. On to the next. Still not satisfied with any of these, any of these runs. None of these really qualify as a last attempt. I'm not feeling it. More breaker fire thing. It'll. Annoy me. We might do that, Sith. It's possible. I don't want to do that because that that is like a good another thirty minutes uh, at the at the minimum to get through nine more attempts like that. It's definitely thirty minutes or so. I don't want to. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but like, ugh. maybe. Uh, I do want to say though that this, if you recall, you might not have been there when we generated this badge of this batch of fifty. When I generated these 50, they, they did not lag, like, at all. There was almost no chunkiness whatsoever. No chunk to it. The one before it was extremely chunky. This one was nothing, though. Uh, I don't know, Ty. Good question. I have a feeling that they would still use them.
Yeah, you're thinking the first 50. Or we'll restore. No, it doesn't mean anything. It just means that there's a crossover of more computing resources being used at the same time. It is a joke. I'm interested in the lick if it's not slow, which it might be. See what the lake was. Mans. With swords dance, of course. A man's with swords dance? What would I have expected? Middle. Every time I think I'm gonna run an Obama, something always changes on me here. Alright, favorite Electivire. Hard to say. Next attacker, adequate speed, extremely low HP, so that I can have the the stat spread of an absolute lifetime, dude. Seventy five as the total, like that's the sum of the base stats outside of HP. Seventy five is huge. We start with Electorizer. Okay. Interesting. That's almost a moment. It's interesting. Um, I don't think it really has the best IVs, actually. The IVs are, like, okay. I don't think it's actually that amazing, though. Especially because, you know, the, the sum could be higher, given that the the plus nature is on a higher stat, meaning a, a plus nature would give you another point or so. The minus nature being on a lower stat, so it would reduce it less overall. I don't think the IVs are all that good on this. I think we could see slightly better than this. But it is a Giga Chad, so. Let's see what happens. Nope. Nope, the way this is gonna pan out is my special attack is gonna be about 3.6 or so times my level uh, as we go on and through the run. And my physical attack is gonna be right at 2.9 to 3 times. So it will it will stay the same, very just a little bit based on um, based on uh, EVs that I get, depending on where they go. It's probably dead. Discharge was coming. Shit. Fire Punch and Discharge, man. And Flamethrower. And Power Gym. Unlearnable Dragon Dance, Unlearnable Air Slash. A little bit rough in there, but yeah, that was pretty decent. Ancient Power Discharge Flamethrower. I don't really have a good physical move. I guess I'd run Bug Bite, maybe? Or just have Fire Punch in there?
Hmm. Yeah. Dude, Obamna is really solid. Signal Beam, Sludge, Sword Stance. It would have gotten Flash Cannon and Power Gym later, but Signal Beam only doesn't really get it done. Yeah, unfortunately, we just ran into the Obamna. This would have been a really decent, really, really decent run with Electivire, I think. Don't know if it's a winner, though. Flamethrower is shed coverage. Could have been Solid Rock. Yeah, that might have been... That's debatable. It would have been a little bit better than Limber, I think. A little bit sad not to realize the potential of that run, because that could have gotten pretty far once we got Discharge. It would have been a really nice run, especially Flamethrower. Yeah, not going to see a mod like that in a little bit, but... Wild by the lab. I think I got one shot by that signal beam, even if I healed. Pretty sure I did, yeah. Because that was, uh, that was a very... Very chunky uh, Obamna. Very chunky Obamna. Okay, middle. Very chunky Obamna there. Once it chose signal beam, it was over. Yep, Limber actually was decent on that mon. You can get paralyzed, so. Very true. Damn. Damn! I got wrecked by Obamna. Okay. It's actually been quite some time since I've had, like, a lab fight that I really wanted to see get out and that had a huge uh, amount of potential to it it's been a little bit of time since that so it sucks but um it doesn't happen that often <laughs> tentacruel is good Flash Fire Obamna is still weak to like six more types. <laughs> it's not that amazing. But yeah, it is something. I'd honestly I'd honestly rather have filter on it. Honestly rather have that. Like, of course, this is the lab fight I make it out on, right? Of course. Heat proof bronzong, yeah. Levitate bronzong, flash fire bronzong, only weak to one thing. I've never seen that before. But I have seen some levitating electric types, like Luxray and Jolteon. Shoot, man. Dang it. I wanted that frickin' run, dude. We definitely would have made it. I think we really would have made it past Radio Tower on that run, too. That would have been a fun far run. Did we have that? Levitate Nocta with Magnet Rise? Probably did. At one point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It sounds familiar to me, which is silly.
Not the best thing ever. The defense is going to kill this run. Unfortunately, it's very low because it has the plus nature, and it's still 9 at 6. The defense is going to be very, very, very bad. So not... Not super impressed with this one. The rest of it is decent. So we're gonna take a pick take a peek at our options here. Bulk up on this mon would be kinda cool. I will say. That would be kinda dope. I would take bulk up. I would run this with bulk up. Fisher. What is happening? <laughs> these these theoretical theoretical uh <laughs> just weird Pokemon outputs. Very strange. Stress Lord, hope you're doing well. It's silly. Have a good one tie. Like, I, I'm trying to parse, I'm trying to parse these, uh, these Pokemon and th the competitive utility. And my brain is just completely turning to mush. <laughs> that's how much, that's how much brain power I have left, is that I, I cannot actually read a f full sentence and, uh, analyze it. Pretty impressive, honestly. I, I have only just enough power to look at the screen, see what the Pokemon is doing, and go from there. One more Mon here, we're trying to find. I appreciate the lurk though. Nightshade gives us a lot of information about possible pivots that aren't normal types. Because we get to see exactly what their HP stat is, or almost exactly. It's a very powerful uh, scouting tool. Dude, hello. Fourth Mon. I've seen 13 of these things. The problem with the Tentacruel? I, it's, there's not necessarily a big problem with it other than low defense. Very low defense. Um, I'm just looking because I always look at all my options. I almost always look at all my options. Unless I have something that is just like, holy shit, I run this. I, uh, I look at all my options. It's unlikely that I'm going to pivot off the tentacle, as it has a really good nature. Some moves. And an okay stat spread. It's very unlikely there's anything better in this attempt that's accessible right now. But I just want to see. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Literally zero HP. Zero HP, good speed. 
Oh, I don't know if I like that low of HP. That's a little low. This could just one-shot me. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Body slam, wake up slap, razor leaf. The moment we miss razor leaf, we die instantly. Not a good mon, actually. Not a good mon at all. <laughs> This is not good. Let's look at the tentacle. Yeah, that thing was kind of trash, actually. It looked cool. It looks like a, a bomb, but it's it's really not that good. Okay, so Thunderbolt here. Useless roleplay. Destiny Fang. Destiny Bond. Thunder Fang is good. Water Spout and Calm Mind. You're such a bitch. Ugh. Dude, this thing got Thunderbolt. Water Spout, Signal Beam, and Calm Mind. That's a full-on special attack moveset that wins. And it's on a stupid-ass physical attacker. Holy crap, man. That sucks. <laughs> that is a special... That is literally a, a moveset that wins. Good grief, man. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. The move set that dies to shed, yeah. Also fair. Also fair. It's how it works. It's how it goes. Unlearnable heat wave for shed. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. I'm done. Tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, all the stuff tonight was good. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Holy moly. All right. Oh, man, I'm tired as hell. I, I got to go. I got to go to bed. I got to settle down, go to sleep, get some really good sleep, and make up for all the sleep that I may have lost in the last uh, bit here. Thank you for watching. Feel free to follow if you haven't and so forth, and if you missed out on the VOD, or you're a morning viewer, you just got here, and so forth, exclamation point VODs here will bring you to the VOD channel, where you can watch a lot of Kaizo Ironmon, that'll work on uploading some more of tomorrow. So, hopefully one more stream on the 12th, on Friday, if I'm able to, because I think I'm going to be busy on with a weather stream tomorrow, so no Twitch stream. Um, but if not, then this might be the last stream for quite some time until the end of the month, closer to, like, May 27th. I will be gone on storm vacation. So I'll see you guys later. Hopefully not too much later. Hopefully one more stream. I'll try my best. Until then, thanks for watching. Peace out. Sad about the electrifier. You may disperse as you please to any other Iron Mon streamers. There's a lot of good ones out there. I'll let you pick and choose or go to bed because you should go to sleep.